Oh, well. Let's do this again. Uh, it's not with a shop, but it doesn't matter. Well, maybe. Got me the slidey bad spot there. I don't think my death rate in the death loot assault is that bad, but I don't even know what the query would be for that one. Um... Yeah, it's just been like a couple of times where I've uh, caught myself off guard, unfortunately. Let's just pull the scale mail, I guess. Once was like a bolt of draining at that time with a fragile bolt of cold. Those crystal golems having fragile makes them really nasty. Um, I, was it the Hazlord Warlock that got me with the bolt of cold? Huh. So the max damage on that one is... Oh, 81. They do hit hard. Oh, okay. So even with the, uh, without the fragile, it could have taken me down. Oh, that's crazy. Huh. Right. Yeah. Hmm. I think somebody only had to do about 63 damage or something to, uh, 62 damage maybe to actually kill me there, I think. I don't want to get just strength the thing with this character. I feel like there's always always a guy when I don't need them, and then when I need them, they're just lying on the floor, not very useful. Um, well, when I don't need them, I think my last character also found an orbit guile. Um, and but that's all. That's just because I don't do many characters that do hexes. This is not great. How do I get away from Sigmund here? I don't know if I do. I think I just had to pull them in. Okay. Uh -huh. This is not going great. Oh, I see invisible he is, but it doesn't matter. Um, but I don't have anything to take him out with. I barely managed to kill him. I feels like way too under level to be doing that fight though. But I did have a good way to run away. Oh, I was about the same protect with us. I don't know, it's got willpower, put it on. Oh, they don't have the Lich uh, Glyph or nothing? No, they're, they're definitely a t very high damage enemy, at least sometimes, anyway. Um... Because the Liches are kind of like that, they've got their high damage attack that they occasionally use. Or their, like, crystal spears and stuff. Well, depends on the type of Lich. Or I guess the basic liches have the orb of destruction or something. But it was mainly the crystal golem that actually got me in big trouble in that other situation. Like, without the uh, initial hit that did so much damage and then the... Which uh, gave me frail and the fallout bolt, I probably would have been fine. No, yeah, it's definitely the... I don't know, those Curse of Guardians giving them frail was kind of kind of crazy. But they were always tough, but now they're really tough. Um, so I got the robe of willpower, which I guess is fine. That's because it's plus two, so it's actually okay in its protectiveness. Don't take a look, see how much they do. What do they actually have? Yeah, they do have the Orb of Destruction. Um, oh, they also have a Bolt of Cold for very so slightly more damage. Just a Water Flame, right? Good. Just yeah, double checking. Because <laughs> I, I was definitely with the Water Flame, so I thought that was the only thing I had on it. But I guess it's possible for them to maybe have multiple bad items. Uh, I'm not Ashen Zari, so I can't be confused here. At least I can see the invisible guys. And it's a flail of protection. Mine's a flail of draining. I'm actually kind of liking this draining damage. It's still doing a decent amount against these enemies.
I might just go. I think I would just go Ash and Zari again. I would get a uh, Mountain Dwarf Ash and Zari win. And that seemed to be going reasonably well for me. It was giving me lots of skills at least. And it always feels better on the sort of magic magic characters, I think, going Ash and Zari sometimes. Because then you can get the really tough spells earlier. And that's always nice. Oh. Set me on fire. At least I can run around the corner so it can't see me while I put out the fire, right? That's not great. Um, my what what flavor is not going to help? It's the net helps at least. All right. Wait, Zom speaking to me? Worship me, mortal Zom boobs, and I shall grant you the greatest gift of all. What is the greatest gift of all? Unpredictable chaos. I mean, I guess Zom might think that's a pretty great gift. Oh, someone's boomerang me. I might grab those boomerangs for myself there. There we go. A single boomerang. All right. Oh, I'm kind of zooming through these early levels. Looking for our tempo. I still got a couple of levels to just go. Um, I want to be cured with this guy. Not at least uh, until I can get an up to somewhere where I can actually attack it. Oh, no. No, no. Okay. Um... I do have a Curari? I lost my last Curari, but I guess that's fine. It was enough to kill the ogre. It looks like it... Oh. I was going to say it looks like it's going to get another one, but this is actually... Oh, the water flame anyway? Hmm. That is disappointing. I didn't want to... Well, I guess I did need more water flame. But I would have rather had a Curari. Is the plate any good? Let's check. I don't think I've got armor skill. So, 6 armor class, but minus 6 evasion, basically. It's nothing too special. Until we get armor skill, then I guess it would be a bit more protective. I'm not more ogres. That would hit me reasonably hard. I think I'm going to have to net it up. That's my last net, though. <laughs> yeah, I did get it back, did I? So I'm out of nets. Um, I get armor skill to like 6, and I'll get evocations to like 6 as well. So I do have a few wands, although is it just a wand of flame, actually? Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll get it, but I hope I find some more wands rather than just a wand of flame. Because that's not going to do a lot to stop these enemies. Wait, what was that item on the ground? Plus two hat, I'll take that. Even though the helmets are disappearing, it's just hats these days. But they should be helmets somewhere. Hey, there we go. There's Ash and Zari. All right, what's the way down? That like magic base could be something. I'll have to see if it's like well enchanted or not. Oh wow! Blown up a cold damage again. I will do it in Rosie, but it's questionable. I hope that heals me at the same rate of taking damage. Uh, I don't know. It kind of heals me at the same rate of taking damage. Plus six base of freezing. 21 damage plus freezing. Compared with my ones, 19 damage plus free, uh, not freezing, draining. Sure, I'll give it a try, I guess. Oh, melee combat advices? Yes, yes I do. On my hat, I think. Because it's actually a good curse. I don't think I'll be replacing this hat in a hurry. Although I might just find like a random plus two helmet now that I mentioned that.
Also, I might have missed my first curse because I have a mug, so I should have initially had a curse, I think. Didn't see one, though. Um, oh, no, not Maggie with the fire damage. Uh, and the thing that's Brent's ribbon in there, it's all crowd. And I get mesmerized. Um, how do I stop that mesmerize? I don't. That's... Maybe a problem. We'll see. I, okay, that gets rid of Maggie. I think Prince Rib is pretty damaged. There we go. Mm, 80 would increase. I'll do it, but I lose some willpower, so it's not the, not the ideal armor, maybe. Oh, the speed hand axe? I'm taking out. It's point six attack delay, 18 damage. It's actually almost competitive. Despite my complete lack of skill, I guess it does cross train, doesn't it? So I'm not completely lacking in skill. Um. Oh, do I just get base and flails to like 14? Fighting up to like 12. I'll run to 8 and then put on the... Might just put on the plate armor now. I reckon that's probably a good idea now that I've got a bit of armor skill. It was pretty competitive before. It was fairly similar. Oh, region amulet. Sure. Devices rage combat. That's a good one. I might put it on my... Region amulet. Okay. Hey, the requirement? Shard armor? I can probably read the equipment. I got a scarf of harm, fire to resist corrosion, ring of protection of magic spell casting. Um, I don't have a cloak. The harm is like really questionable though. I don't know about that. It is like fire to resist corrosion, which could be good, oh, especially with this guy. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken it, but no, I did survive that fight. The roar of battle, I know exactly where it is, so it makes sense to just uh, head on over. Oh, maybe I do need the fire resist. Also, mainly the poison resist here, actually, is what I'm missing. Um, Might lignify, I think that's probably the right thing. Yes, me the poison resist, which I desperately need. Alright, where's the... Where's the portal? Probably drop a bunch of these old weapons, say... I mean, my weapons are nothing too special, but they just don't quite compete. Some of this old armor doesn't quite compete anymore. I don't actually have a full set of rings on it. Might as well put on the flight. Though this doesn't look like it's going to be a Bailey that needs flight, unfortunately. Otherwise, it'd be kind of nice having the flight on. Now, this one's quite a tough Bailey. Do I have teleport? I do. I've got one. Because mm. I think it's got like an old wall on it. They had to be a bit careful of. Like right at the end. Um, and it's got like, an acquirement or a potion of experience. It might be a potion of experience. We'll see. Because even without uh, fighting the guy at the end, there's still like a bunch of loot here. How much base and flares I got? I got 12, because I got a broad axe here. If I could brand that, which I can't, it might be worth using. It's making the switch, um, because they do cross trade, so it'd be fine in the... Intermediate type again. This is uh, the area that's got bad guys. There it is. That was a nice joke point, but it was also like kind of scary with the fact that creatures could come right around the next to me. So I might have lost track of the big guy. Oh, there it is. That's a nice axe, isn't it? Plus three broad axe. Oh, 
I don't know if any amount of might and stuff is going to get through this. Let me see. 42 damage, 100 health. It's got more health than me. That's got more damage than me, right? Yeah, it's got like double my damage. Hmm. I want to fight it, but like, I don't know what I've got that can take it out. Um. My idea is I'm like throw. I'm uh. It's like somewhat questionable, but I'm gonna. Yeah, no, it's not. I missed, unfortunately. I'm gonna try taking out the something scroll. I'm not sure this worthwhile. Wait, I just got little guys. I just got an axe. Oh, I guess the summoning scales on the top of the air. That did not work very well, though. I may be in a bit of trouble. Might haste up and lignify up, but this is uh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> At least that one is a pole up. Man, that was kind of costly, actually. Just for like a little lax. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that something would give me something good because of how tough all the other creatures are, but no. So is that mouse and flails still going up? Surely not. Oh, I guess it is. I guess I'm still trading it. It's not, not what I should be doing. You know, I need that to 16, don't I? Um, Take him as worth using yet. So 1.2 damage, 20... No, 28 damage, 1.2 attack delay. Right, so it's actually like twice the attack delay. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna have to gonna have to get that attack to lay down before I actually use it, I think. And tell then I'm just gonna bash people with these little mace that I've got. Unless the acquirement changes my mind. Oh the new necromancy just dropped. What's changed with the necromancy? Oh, do I get the scarf? No, I might get the ring of protection. I might have to give some new necromancy a try at some stage. See if I like it or not. It's plus, oh, there's the evening sun flaming. Hold up. Maybe I won't even end up using the axe. So there's a poison resist regen helmet. Ooh. But it's also poison resist on the... Oh, poison resist gold resist on this evening star. I might just grab the evening star. Well, so much for that axe. Anyway, I guess finding that guy kind of let me grab this loot. But I probably could have done that with teleport anyway. Evening star needs 16 skills. So I just get back into our uh, base of flails. Um, do I have an enchant weapon? No. Such a shame. I would have loved to enchant that one up. But no, I might, might have tried this new necromancy. I didn't even know there was a necromancy rework underway. I can't play now. I'm just getting out of here. Oh, it's just a low-level spells. But the low-level spells were the ones that I kind of didn't like the most. Like, I didn't mind haunting people. Penis' devices is nothing too special. I'll put that on. Eh, my plate up, whatever. What does this one give a puff poison for this cold with this? So, uh, at least this character's not gonna die, like, to a massive cold blow by a Hazlund Warlock. Well, they might, but at least they got cold with this. <laughs> Unlike my last character, this would have been a useful weapon, I think, for my last character. Might have saved them. Oh, there's a shield. Okay. Well. I guess it's getting towards uh, that sort of time where I get a shield. I'll let some of my other skills go, because I uh, bet because I got a, got a normal light, which is doing fairly well with this weapon. Making it really accurate. But kindly accounting is like nothing. Um, I really it's nothing. I just put on the over light just to uh, get rid of it. <laughs> I think that's probably the the first thing to replace there. Uh, also reworks cops rods again. <laughs> Man, this spell's got they got like a lot of reworks. I think I make it up the staircase. There we go, because that... Oh, uh, that's fine. What does Cobb's Rod do now, anyway? Because I know it used to, like, make a little, uh... 
clowned on you and you had a turn to move away before it did its damage. And I also remember that I didn't really use it much because it drained your max hit points and you had to work them back so you couldn't use it very often. Melee combat device is good. I just gotta put that straight on my weapon, that's good enough. Yeah, that's all stuff I use. Um, it always gets my melee weapon to mid delay as well, which is nice. Ooh. That's a little 9 cent warrior. I mean, at least that wasn't too far away. Oh, poisoned up. I uh, mean, it means I'm slowed because it was a cure army. Get fighting. I'll get fighting and then I might get the, um, the shields, I think. I'm in no particular hurry on the shields, though. Be nice to get them before I, like, fight Hydras. Also, I need to get throwing at some stage, but that could probably also wait. I'll target, uh, target damage daddy to make it spew out my asthma now. Right, so I guess you can't just effectively block, like, corridors and stuff if you have to actually target a damaged enemy. Unless you already have some way of, like, easily damaging enemies, maybe. Hmm, interesting. So you probably need, like, I don't know, toxic radiance or something to start the damage. Um... Or something like that. A lot of bees. I might just bring the bees upstairs and find another staircase. Well, without a two-headed ogre looming over it. I don't need a glaive. I have done like pull up character recently. recently. Devices and cutting. Devices is useful. It's not the most useful card, so I'll just put on like the strength ring. That will get replaced eventually. So. Sure, this will do with that. I've got to cover this right for my weapons. This is fine. Otherwise, that would be a kind of a bad looking situation there with all these cold guys. Also, that's a two handed axe. It's a frostbite. I probably don't go with that. It's, uh, what, Executioner's Axe? Yeah, it is. That's a really good Formicid Axe, but I'm not a Formicid today. I can't generate under you, though. So does it spew it out in multiple directions, or just, like, the... under the creature? Interesting. But I guess it's trying to, to, try to stop people blocking corridors with it or something. It's the reason the creature has to be damaged. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I can't even rest properly because this guy is like bashing the plot a little bit. There we go. But it made sense I couldn't rest there because the guy was eventually going to break through the plot. It's just kind of silly sometimes when you get those situations where you do want to wait quite a few times. You want to wait till something happens. Uh, I'll do one more dodge level. What's my weapon being in, like red up here? It almost looks like my god disapproves of it. But my god actually approves of it because it's a cursed weapon. It's uh, kind of strange. So it's the same color for curses. I mean, it makes sense because the curses used to be in red because they were like a negative thing. Whereas now they're kind of a vaguely positive thing. Well, definitely positive thing. But also it does have downsides. Oh, it can trap you otherwise, like all around you. Also, it actually kind of is placing it in, in an area. Well, the current version just kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, it can't really get worse than a spell that you basically don't use, right? Like, that's kind of the spell's worst state is one that you never really pick up. Oh, but Guardian Companions, really? Do I have an extra set of gloves? No. I don't think I worry about that one. Oh, that Phantom Mirror's hard to get. Okay. I gotta, gotta come back for that Phantom Mirror at some stage. Not now. Gotta remember, maybe after Lair? Or is that too early? No, I think after Lair is probably fine for that one. 
But a fall ladder would definitely be a terrible idea. Why am I carrying around identifies? I just like drop frostbite. Can drop pretty much everything actually. Actually everything. Because it's not like you can swap weapon anyway, so. Uh that's the identifies. So probably just I'm probably just carrying around the the brown because I had one on me, but I identified all my stuff. Hey, that looks doable. I got a curari out this two-handed ogre. Oh, I got like slowed as well, but I think it's still fine. Yeah, I mean, sometimes these places aren't doable. But the oh, there's a oh frost giant's probably fine. I didn't realize it was a frost giant in here. Okay, that's probably the reason that that was excluded off as uh, the frost giant sitting there. Is it shields time? I think it's shields time. At least getting close to shields time as soon as I get the skill. Oh, even when you tried uh, combining it with lesser beckoning, it was just running out so quickly? The cops rod? Right, like, lesser beckoning guys into it to uh, keep on doing more damage. I guess that makes sense. Hmm. Should go down to dungeon level 12, but I can't beat up a couple of these guys. Alright, let's go to the lair. That's where I'm actually meant to be going right now. I think I have poison resist. I do, in fact, have poison resist. Yeah, this weapon's great for the resist. So I don't have to worry about the wooden markers and all the black mammoths or anything too much. Um, all the cane toads are, I think, venomous as well. All the major venomous things. But I just got some more ones now. I've got charming, warping. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got warping and digging. i got something. I think beguiling. Um, Nah. I'll wait for a better cast, I think, but I, at least I can charge up my weapon. Well, when I went to that charm weapon screen, it was like a really wide menu, because the, the weapon's name is ridiculously long. Like, how long is this weapon's name? It's like the, the full length of the inventory screen. In fact, the inventory screen is probably only that wide because of the weapon name. That's hilarious. Oh, boots. Wait, I've got, like, no boots. And no cloak. Um, I'll double check cloaks. It wasn't one of the equipment that I didn't take, but it had, like, harm. And it was, like, hey, it was fine with the fire. Just maybe I should have taken it. Maybe I should I don't really know. Fortitude's fine. Do I want a Companions of Fortitude? Might put on my boots. It's all right. You often get some skills that you can't really use. Um, well, definitely slowing down the curse, making sure they definitely got some useful stuff on them. The only like really bad one I've got is my um one of my orb, and that was gonna get replaced. Oh, is that a hat? It could be good. Willpower. Got melee combat and devices on my hat, which is really nice. But I'd also love some willpower. Um, actually, might bring gas look up. Yeah. What's he doing? Oh, he's smiting me. I was hoping I could, like, there we go. That's better. Get him next to me. I just wanted to be somewhere with lots of walls around me, so his air strike doesn't do as much damage. Does it make sense to blow up my hat? It does, doesn't it? Even if it's melee combat and devices. But I gotta get the willpower. There we go. That brings me out to two points of willpower. 
Which means this guy's 10%, right? 7% of my slightly poor willpower that I'm used to having by this point of the game. Still don't have a lot of willpower, though. I actually kind of do. Do I have ridiculous willpower? That's what I'm trying to say, but I do kind of have a lot. Malian Elements. Um, uh, maybe not. I'll just wait for a better curse, I think. I'll also bring up my... Yeah, I've already made some flails back up to 16, so I got mid-delay again. It's funny, like, hitting mid-delay, unhitting mid-delay, hitting mid-delay again. It's the Ash and Zari way, though. Alright, let me get downstairs. What is that room? Is that going to be a, that's a whole bunch of ugly things, isn't it? Or abominations, I think is what they're actually called. No, it's bees, and the middle one will be a queen bee. That's fine. I got the poison room, so this is not really going to do a lot to me. Yeah, this is working just fine. But there is also a similar one, it, uh, like a similar one that's completely packed full of creatures that has abominations instead. Oh, there's a guy for me to bring around the corner. Um, elements accounting, something special. I've still got three items to go, but I'm waiting for a reason to be good curses. Ooh. I don't think I'm actually very good at throwing, unfortunately, yet, but at least I can kill the hydrants of my melee weapon. Um, might just have to run away from this guy. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, let's just uh, exclude this error off. I mean, I can come back here later on, but I'm ready to actually do the branch, and by then it probably won't be too hard to kill a knob spider outside. And hopefully by then I'll have some throwing skill. Oh, an oppressive heat. Man, that's the resist I don't have, isn't it? Hmm. Not on me anyway. Oh, they got a ghost in here. It's so another one of these ones of Berserk, guys. There's also J.O. Sack W's ghost, the Fobbison Fighter of Okawaru. They do like 40 something damage. I don't think I find them in a hurry. Hmm. This is either going to give me a fire to the side fairly early on, or it's not. And if it doesn't, I could be in a bit of trouble. Um. I'm going to charm my armor. Do I have anything to enchant? No, not really. I mean, maybe my hat, but nothing yet. These guys are fine. Uh, so I'm melee combating companions. I don't know. He's got like one useful skill, but there's not that many, really. Ah, oh, salamanders, I see. I think this area might be a bit too tough for me. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, because uh, salamanders, I mean, if I had fire to this, maybe they'd be fine. Do I see what they were guarding? I don't think I did. Yeah, I think I don't think I can fight those. Like that was not even one of the tough ones. Um, I'll see what's down here. Another salamander. Yeah, I'll just get out of there. That's a bit of a shame. A better fire than this probably would have done the trick. Although there was room full of three things, which might have still been too tough for me. If those were all salamanders, which they quite possibly were. Oh, uh, let's just back up. Good. They're making their way out of here. I'll see if uh, any more of them can make their way out of here. 
That was probably stuck. Oh, two of them are stuck. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I'll just uh, exclude it up and continue on my merry way. I, I had no need to go to that Templar Quadra altar anyway. Interest special. What's beguiling again? I can now remember. It's uh, Hex's Trans Vacation. Fighting spellcasting is not terrible. Um, I might put that on my hat. Oh, hey, Nuzzle. See, sped up already. I do have Polymorph. I don't have much one skill, but he's got 70% to hit him. There we go. He's a snake. Uh, gee, how's my shield skill? 14? I think it's about time we're going to be using a kite shield. Oh, um, right. Right, I already just cursed something up, but I'm going to have to blow up the orb of uh, Beguiling Cutting. Right, I put useless curse on this one because I knew I was going to have to blow it up pretty soon to get a shield. Oh right, well, I think this character, in terms of items, they need, like, a bigger weapon and they need rings of jewelry. That's about it. They're actually doing not too bad. Am I missing any particular items? Oh, I'm missing a cloak. That's something I can't curse up, I guess, until later on. Oh, well. Cloaks are usually reasonably cold, but especially if you get, like, Nicola or something, he always has a cloak on him. Sometimes even branded, but I think uh, not that often. Okay. I don't think I've got a resist corrosion unless I'm mistaken. No, I don't. So, going down to that area that needs uh, a bit of resist corrosion might not be the best idea. Alright, well, I can jump my weapon. I can bring it up to plus seven. That's a pretty good modifier for Lair. That's a very good base type for Lair. Ooh, a willpower rig and a cold resist rig. Got the protection one, I've got the strength one cast. Um, hmm. I don't know if I want that strength one or not. Hot shooting companions. I might put that on this uh this ring here. What's this uh it's devices and range of my ablet? It's cunning and devices on the strength one. Oh uh, my willpower's alright right now, so I don't think I swap it out just yet. Also I got poison resist, so I can go in here. Swarm there might be a fire dragon in here. And that armor is less protective, right? But it does give acid resist. There's a cage, they very handy. Swamp dragon, oh, it's an ice dragon, good. Much rather find an ice dragon with this character, see, I've got one cold resist. And I don't think the swamp dragon armor is anything special. Now, nah, again, it's slightly less protective, and I don't even need the poison resist. If I did need the poison resist, like, obviously that would be too bad. You lose, like, a couple of armor class or something and get a poison resist, which is an alright trade off, but no, not when I don't need it. Well, there's a lot of creatures. I'm just going to stand back a little bit. Hmm. Some of these might not even be able to get out of here because they're stuck behind the water, but the Hydra should be able to, right? Huh? That definitely should be able to get out of there. There we go. I've finally figured out how to get out of there. I can see the trap here that you just run in and you'd have to try and run past all the water to get to the guys. Meanwhile, those guys are constantly trying to petrify you. So half the enemies could just like get out of there. That doesn't look perfect. I'll just go back to here. Don't think I need to teleport yet. Uh... Actually, it might make sense just to dig back this way. Um...
Yeah, I think it does. It gets me into a choke point where I can actually live. Oh, okay, we're getting slowed. There's still so many top of snails here. How do I get fire resist? I don't know if I do. I might just have to run away before this dragon gets out of here. I think I might. Hopefully it doesn't follow after me. Who is the linworm here? Um, if I hide in here, it might be all right. That, wait, the beetle didn't die. It's still around. It's just, uh, God, all these companions. Um, that's a useless card, so I'm gonna wait till it gets something better. Yeah, because I wanted to, my shield and something else, my shield and my gloves to curse up. Both of those things are things that won't necessarily swap out ever. Well, no, hopefully the shield won't swap out eventually. But I might keep it for a while. I'll probably keep it for until I find a tower shield. But his character can basically instantly upgrade to a tower shield because there was actions already, so he got plenty of skill. Uh, wait, what happened to this guy? He got soulbound. I don't even know if like a soulbound bogger does it or thing. Draw maybe a little bit of cold damage, but I think it loses its like main summoning ability, so yeah, I feel like it's kind of useless. Which is probably a good thing for me. Did summon some stuff, but I can still get to it. There we go. I can check out the library. It's got a permafrost eruption, sculpt simulacrum, plus three scale mail, not just bugs, the plus three scale mail might be alright. It's not really a book, but hey, it's a uh, decrease armor cost by three, increase evasion by three. Oh, I already cast my armor up, huh? But it's actually not terrible because it is uh, willpower. Yeah, beguiling cutting is not a thing I need. That's all about uh, spell casting. I guess dodging isn't quite about spell casting. Oh, how do I get to that? Wait, it cursed both my stuff? I thought I had an uncursed ring here. Hold up, let me look at this. I've got the, it's a strength one that was going to break at some stage. You know what, I might go shatter that right now, I think. Hopefully I don't lose too much damage. And yeah, that one will do. Put that one on. I might uh, leave this one on, but it's either that or the willpower one, I think. Oh, you got two runes on a deep dwarf aerial metals today? Or the old... No, Mountain Dwarf. The old Mountain Dwarf. All the Doom combos, starting with one magic point, but also went at Zari. Huh. No, that does sound like a Doom combo, starting with one magic point. I mean, the current uh, Mountain Dwarves are also bad at... What? Why am I going to lab into the auction mines? Also, like, bad at air. They start with... Uh, I just can't remember. I think they actually is, like, negative in the air. But hey, maybe with Ash and Zari... Maybe with Ash and Zara you can make one work. Because you can still get the skills you needed. I don't think I've done a Mountain Dwarf element list. Um, I've done an Air Element list in ages, actually. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. I think I might need to cure Aria, but like, that was just dying. I don't have the fire resist, I don't have the resist negative. Um, should probably just wear the willpower on this place so I don't get paralyzed. I was only 9% otherwise, like, uh, without the willpower on, but I still think that's maybe a bit too much of a risk, but I got none of the resist to the damage that those guys do. Oh, it took you a, a lot of tries, but you're heading down the vaults with a plus 10 radar to great base of speed. I mean, that's not too bad. It is too handed, but it still might make up for it because of its um, speed. Oh, shields is excessive. Let's get some fighting. Actually, maybe it's not excessive. These other skills are looking pretty good, too. Uh... 
What's my armor now? Plain armor. Why did he get up to 15? Evocation is gonna get up to like 12. Yeah, that's probably all the skills I need for a little while actually. Could the old, the old mountain dwarf send a chance their weapons, um, artifact weapons, right? That was a pretty chance the new mountain dwarf thing. Not that it matters when the weapon's past 10, because you're not going to be able to chant that anyway. Whether or not you can chant the weapon. I don't remember much about the old mountain dwarves. I remember them being, uh, decent. Oh, it's got a pole arm? Come on. I hit this with a warping, I might get rid of the one with the pole arm. That's the oh, that's a new mount dwarf? Yeah, it makes sense. I don't even remember what the old mountain dwarves did, because the new one's kind of basically basically a hell orc except slightly different, like with a focus on charging up armor and casting spells, which the hell orc didn't have. But their, like, axes and invocations and stuff are so good. It's like the old Hell Oak. Um. Panions of Fortitude? What have I got to curse? Sure, I'll curse out my gloves, I guess. If I want to get summoned, uh, I want to get some summoned armor almost. <laughs> with the one I've been getting. Nah, I missed. Um, I'll try again. I got so many curaries, I can just keep on retrying every time I need to. Oh, the old Mount Dwarf just a uh, stats and apps package. A lot like uh, Lindley Crow species. Right, makes sense. Yeah, because that was kind of back before the fancy races. Oh, you still got a few, like, fancy things. For some of the old races, but they didn't tend to be anywhere near as fancy. All right, let's get upstairs. Uh, oh, so many of these guys are just like getting into archery. Hopefully, I can bring something upstairs. There we go. That's better. There's another one. He said, "This is my not to live long enough for that to actually matter." Ooh, can I just curare this one? I think so. Good. Didn't see anything on it that was giving like poison resistor or anything. But well, that's my main source of like curia already a thing that doesn't get affected when it's got poison resist, but I just didn't notice. And it's mainly for a barber because like I can usually know uh, the species well enough to know this is a new species or something. Grand Grim, oh, that's summoning. Uh, it's not summon armor though. Chain lightning, swiftness, and cost of domination. Okay. Freezing cloud. I mean, none of these are armors. Book of dreams, book of frost. Those aren't going to be armor. What a beast. Menagerie, mana viper, ice beast. That was wilderness, which more something. Cactus giant, mana viper, forest. Man, there's, there's all the something spells. Icon stained flail. All right. Oh, a thermic. Oh, a thermic engine. I can't use a thermic engine. Oh, well. I had, a, I had a fun character yesterday with the Thermic Engine, so it's just um, really common. It's got plus three and plus four great base. Any of these other ones got special stuff? I don't think so. I think it's just that one. It's also Unipex Ghost. Unipex Ghost? And Naga Ice Hill Missile of the Human. Oh, look at their power plus eruption. Two times 3d15. That's absolutely scary. Nah. <laughs> Oh, it's a little more in stone soup, given they and Deep Dwarf can use Dwarvish round shields better. Right, because you used to have the... I don't know if they stayed in mainline for very long, but you used to have the special, like, demonic and dwarven and weapons and stuff, right? I vaguely remember those being a thing. I don't remember them being around for very long, though. Uh...
And I feel like the appropriate race, you got like a slight extra bonus, I guess. I might take the vanilla enchanting boost if you get to it. Yeah, that could be interesting. And they can enchant up... Oh, what's that meant to be going up here? They can enchant up the random dwarven weapons. Too many archers. Ah, I want one of these move next to me. This is when you need like lasso beckoning or something, but I don't have it. <laughs> Castle at least. I don't know if I have it or not. All right. I have a hat. Okay, let's try it. Oh, still in the hat. It's oh, it's only like fifty percent. Okay, no wonder that's not hitting. <laughs> I've got, is it one more? No, I think I'm done here. Let's get out of here. Let's go to dungeon level 13. Don't get to me first. Good, one of them will get to me first. I was just worried that, like, they get to me at the same time. I just had to go up without any of them, which would have been fine. But I just wanted to pull one up. I wonder how much use like that magic mapping is of everything that's uh, one further than my range of vision. It's definitely interesting. What was Radamance Ghost? I haven't seen a one of Radamance Ghosts in ages. They're a Minotaur Fighter of the Shining One. It's one of my classic combos. Well, not so much a Minotaur Fighter, but a Fighter of the Shining One is definitely one of my classic combos. Until I got like through all the fighters, now I don't tend to play them as much. Um, the amount of fighters. Have I run out of any of the other backgrounds? It might just be fighters. I got some that are doing decently close. Like, you got warpers decently close, but now I don't like them anymore after they got reworked, so... I've played my last few warpers. Ooh. A couple of swords is probably fine. Shame wasn't guarded by vault guards, because the vault guards have a higher chance of having a tower shield, but that's fine. I get the snake pits, I got the shawls and the spine nest. Oh, it's the same as last time. The branches that don't didn't have the tower shields. I mean, the shawls are actually not bad for getting throwing weapons, which uh, at some stage I should get some throwing weapon skill. In fact, actually, probably now would be a good time to get some throwing weapon skill. And then by the time I go to the spider's nest, which will probably be my next branch, um... I should have enough throwing to kill the... Okay, who summoned that one? Kill the random hydras and stuff. Uh, not the random hydras, the random orb spiders and stuff. Wait, that's not even summoned. Well, I should retreat back. I think this is fine if I retreat back to the staircase. I'm not that wounded. It's one of these open levels again, which is probably fine, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm not exactly the right sort of character for an open level. What am I going to get an AC ring on? Hmm. But I do have rings for, like, fly or something when I get to the shoals. Also, I don't really need this magic regen amulet. I don't have a use for a magic. Man, it would be fun if this character found the Mad Mages Mueller's. Like, haven't found those other characters that can use them in quite some time. Those are really uh, kind of funny. You use all your magic points in one hit to do more damage. And then uh, I think you gain back a little bit of magic points afterwards based on how much damage you do. But you don't gain back a huge amount, so you often have very little magic points. Alright, one more level to go. I'm going to check if I'm not building up any, like, charm weapons or something. I am building up a charm weapons for well, one of them. Oh, hey, Kirk. That bogger didn't follow me, because I would be able to see it if it did, right? Oh, elements and cunning is... Mm, whatever. Because Ash and Zari surely would let me see a bogger. Even if it were divisible. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. I should have stepped back there. I could have brought that guy up the staircase perfectly, but it doesn't really matter. I was just kind of stepping around the staircase that they had there. Is that bringing a death knight? That's kind of a tough thing for a bog hunt to bring in. I mean, I guess they're just doing any old shadow creature, so it can be anything appropriate to the level. And death knights make perfect sense for dungeon level 15. Alright, still no Manifold Assault, which I don't know, I would kind of vaguely want to get that going with this character, depending what other things I got, uh, maybe not, but maybe. I mean, like, I probably could, because I'm a dwarf, so get less penalty for my armor. Oh, look at that Ring of Evasion, that could be kind of nice. What else have we got here? I've got a Ring of Protection for Cold, um, I think it, was it Cold or the Fire is this that's missing, right? You're slaying. Yeah, I've got willpower and I got AC, and in a certain place I could probably take off the willpower and put it on something else. In fact, uh, it might be worth it actually putting on the AC, not the AC, the evasion here, getting up to 16 of that. At the very least, it's better than that potential ring I've got on. Um. So, potentially, I could end up swapping um, that out. Ooh. A lot of creatures. I think this is fine, though. Oh, maybe not. Um, hold on, I can cure this one. Can I just step back now? Good. Do they get at each other's way with the dire went up the front cure I should be able to fight a dire elf and so I can cure army it up. I just don't want to be fighting at the same time as this guy stabs me with a pole arm. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty easy on its own. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, where do I go? It was uh, Spider Nest, I believe, is the place I'm trying to go right now. I don't know how to get there. Oh, because there's a spider outside. That makes sense. I can put on my boomerang to go kill that one. Excellent. Oh, I don't technically have to go in the web. <laughs> oh, it might be faster just to go in the web than to walk around. It probably would be. <laughs> Francis, I might just damage. Oh. To bring out a mob you take. Uh, I might just wait. Oh, I didn't wait that guy out properly. There we go. Let's wait that guy out, I think. Uh, I don't think I can just polymorph Francis, right? And the Emperor's going to be at 12%. And I can't believe this, like, maybe, but probably not. I might just let it get a bit closer. Oh, she's got a pole up, doesn't she? I think the quickest way to get out of that situation is kill the uh, kill Francis there. Alright, I got, oh, wait, six more chances of digging? It looks like you got tons of digging. And that's, wait, why does it say no target? Oh, I'm trying to quiver something, I think. That's good. I feel like digging often is pretty good in the spider's nest. Um, Really, more companions? Game really wants me to have that companions curse. Every single curse needs to be companions. Um, I don't have any special armor, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, uh, how's willpower? 15% of the paralysis. Can I just drink an enlightenment? I might just do that. I know I can put on the ring, but I'm having to take off a pretty good one, unfortunately, if I do that. I want to chant up, uh, like, curse up that ring, because it'd be the other one that's the one I swap. Um, I can get a replacement for the other ring as well. I just had to find a good curse. How's that throw going? It, um, it's already almost on 10. I started it rather late.
What do I do? I might just back up here. There we go. Bring the real spider upstairs. Ah, can I get swamped here? I've got to kill the one that summons things, I think. But the problem is there's ones around there that can web me up. And I'm spending my turns like struggling out of webs instead of killing actual spiders. Oh, that's a lot of misses in a row. Let me just get this with... Oh, these ones don't do the trick. I might just have to keep on throwing. Uh, that what? Why is this suddenly not doing the trick? Hold up. Can I polymorph it? Elephant horn tartella. Yeah, an elephant will do. <laughs> Might have just been luck with, like, actually trying to hit the guy, I think. But, yeah, the boomerang didn't feel very good. Was that a lob trap? Huh. Well, it's good to go with Ash and Zari. Don't have to worry about lob traps. I really enjoy your, uh, ghosts. You saw an ILC today that said... Seb, uh, level, uh, 13, wait, was it FD? Necromancer. Witness the revenge of a ghost of, uh, Dabaril, the reanimator? A journeyman deep dwarf necromancer of Maclip? And you could just, uh, look that game up and be, uh, dang, really you'll scale the game for losing it. Right. No, what is it? Uh, wait, is it FD? That's like a fairy dragon, is it? I think I might have even played one of those, maybe, in one of the folks. Or it might be an actual fairy, I'm not sure. Fortune and elements, oh, so close. So close to being a good curse. But you have the you have the ghost to like hunt down something. Like if they get killed by some creature, right? They'll go hunt it down and could ignore the player. Oh, it's a fairy dragon, but it's not important. You died to an orc warrior in March. And your ghost turned up to help out. Help out another character called Sam, right? Or does it? Wait, was that another one of your characters? Or was that like Sam is another player that came to help out? They don't hate the player, but you can't get in their way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, neutral, right? They just uh, want to go kill whatever they're after. That actually kind of makes like a lot of sense law-wise for ghosts to be like that. Instead of being trapped in little vaults. That you can either release or not release. Ooh, that's a lot of poison. I might cure up some of this. I think that was worth the time to cure that up. Oh, Steph is another stoat soupy, right? And then not you. So it was, uh, wait, so it was one of your ghosts that came along to hopefully help them out. And you get reminded each time, I guess, uh, one of the ghosts turns up. It's a lot of work to make sure a ghost can't just pop up in a corridor trapping you between Ed and the Oak Warrior. You're pretty sure that can't happen? Right. Yeah, I guess that's true. Like, a ghost in a bad spot would be really, really nasty. So you'd have to be very careful with the placement. A lot of basic scorpions. Oh, the one big one. Sure. I have thinking I might as well use it. Some of these, uh, yeah, they actually do a bit of damage to me, but I think it's fine once I use my digging. Ooh, okay. You have more guys? This is not a perfect spot for digging, but I'll give it a try. I can see if creatures are making their way around because they got the Ash and Zari detention. It doesn't look like they are. Looks like it still worked as a choke point, thankfully. 
Oh, your bias was so much better. It's only better flavor. I don't know how I would feel like playing with it, but it, uh, the flavor-wise, it's very nice. Oh, that helmet could be good. The hat of willpower. Now I'm okay with the hat of willpower. Um, I do need the willpower, I think. I'm still missing a cloak. Oh, there's one. Sure. There's lying on the ground, waiting for me to pick it up. Do I have gonna got a fortune element? I might put that on my cloak, sure. Why not? It's not quite good enough to put on my actual ring, but it's alright. I need another way to get to Oh yeah, Zach. Got a quarter star venom, sure. Oh. If only he could blow himself up with his own prism, that would have been really good. Okay, what do I do to him? Um, can I follow him off into something else? 27% of Quicksilver Dragon? That's not that great. Um, I don't think they can help me out here. I could go Berserk. Is that a terrible idea or a good idea? I think that might actually work. I don't think there's anything that needs me to get out of here in a hurry. No, that seemed fine. Alright, good. And he's got his... Oh, it's just a kite shield. Such a shame. I was hoping it has a slightly better shield than that. He has a pharmacist after all. They're all about the big shields. Can I... I should kill this with a wonder thing. I'm down to minus 20 corrosion. It's not gonna die to my weapon anymore. <laughs> Oh, usually the ghost is helping or just scenery, but it's a bit risky. Better than just being free XP. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, the ghosts are kind of like things that you just come back for later on. Once you've, um... Once you can. I mean, uh, people don't use the game still die to ghosts, and I, I probably died a couple of times to some ghosts myself. Well, after getting the hang of the game, but yeah, they're not really a major thing. One of these is going to roll behind me, surely. Or jump behind me. There we go. Look. They're remarkably good at respecting that choke point. Ooh, Malikov had an introspection. I can put that on the ring. There we go. Uh, I need to get the fighting back up to 20. <laughs> of course, just round that up. Because I don't think you get the hit points unless it's at a nice round number. At least he didn't used to. I'm not sure if that's been changed now or not. But... Ha! <laughs> and blow up his own friend. I love when they blow up their own friends. And I mean, it doesn't work if they don't have any friends on the level, but often you can kind of... Well, not really that often, but sometimes you can maneuver behind their friends. Well, I think the open destruction has to be shot out initially where it wouldn't have their friends. What you and Malikov is a good curse again? I guess I put on my shield, even though, like, shield's not even that special. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, the melee combat's doing pretty well. I got the fighting's up and instantly hit his target there. Sure. I think the armor would help a bit as well. It's got up to 16, which should help a little bit. Oh, the destruction comedy is the best. Just like watching the officers right, just fly around. It's always funny when you get them, like, orbiting you as well. Oh. Gotta sit here and just wait for these guys to come back around the corner. Or not. Fairy, this should be the rune on this level, right? So I gotta be a bit careful where I explore. I don't wanna explore into the rune vault. What's the plan with that spider? Let me just, uh, well, it's the Moth of Wrath that I'm mainly worried about. Throw a few javelins, I think. That did the trick. I haven't got a, oh. 
What was that? Mio Glottal. I saw the flash as he summoned the thing. He's like, oh, what was that? All right. Got him upstairs. What do I want to do to him? I can lightning rod him. I can... I don't think I can polymorph him, right? Form said to Borog or Soul Eater. Might just bite him and bash him down. Don't think this one can get me thanks to the other little one. Uh, there we go. Hey, it's a bit of a radio, but now it's got his friend in the way, so it's probably not going to do it again. That looks like the root chair, but I'm going to just avoid that and do some of the rest of this level first. The first time, the rest of the spider death seems to always have all the uniques. Like, I've had Zack and, uh... What was it called? I've had, I've had Zack and someone else in here. Mio Glottal. But I've had ones where it's like four uniques or even more on the same level as Spider Nest, and that seems to happen quite a bit that you get like all the uniques. Alright. I'll go into the web again. <laughs> Just to get back into a decent spot. At least a half decent spot anyway. Uh, oh, minus eight corrosion already? I can't get to the staircase. Yeah, might as well by the time we got to the staircase. Just kept on corroding me and corroding me. I uh, did get the resistance. I know I did. No wonder it's uh, getting me quite corroded. Like, that would have been just being minus six if I was resistant, which wouldn't have been too bad. Not like minus 12 corrosion. Oh, you had a four unique party on Snake One today? So you think it's brunch? Oh, you think it's just uh, all the S yes, branches that do that? They throw the unique spam at you? Yeah, it probably is. I think a lot of the uniques do hang out in any of the S yes, branches. Not just Spider. I think it's just uh, my luck that's been Spider recently. And to be fair, there was only like a couple of Spider this time around. It wasn't like... um. <laughs> Some of the previous ones where we had five of the level. What do I even need? Evocation's doing fine. Get Mason of Flails is like 20. Bring fighting up to like 25. I bring shields up to like 25 as well. I don't think I need to bring up the armor just yet though. Um... No, I think they can wait until I get something a bit heavier. Well, it depends how the other skills go. If the other skills go up by, uh, faster, potentially I could get it earlier. Uh, do I have fire resist? No. Oh, is this actually making sense? I think so. Yeah, my lighting rods are not now, which is not ideal. I just wanted to full on like AOE damage there to take those out. Plus zero gloves. Uh, I got plus zero gloves. These are the stealth though. Would I even benefit from a stealth? What are even are my gloves? My gloves are four student companions, which would be reasonably easy to replace. Oh, they got a full set of curses as well, so. Having one down to my curse isn't too bad. I'm just not sure stealth does much. That looks scary. That's bizarre. Do I have to get out of here or can I just polymorph it? Eat it and hide an Eton. Should I lose the bizarre when I polymorph it? Let me just vulnerability and polymorph it, I think. Uh, another one's bizarre. Sure, whatever. The tyrant leech is probably fine. Yeah, I mean, they all bizarre up, but the, once I got that one dude polymorphed, I think everything was fine. Let's go to... Do I go to the shoals? I go to, I'll try the shoals. Do I break my protection? I think I do. Man, I gotta drop some of these, uh... Hold on. Got tons of willpower ones. I might drop one. Um, also, I'll explode the protection wherever it is. 
Call of Duty Companions, sure. Uh, Codes is actually good in here as well, because I think it's uh, the Aquamancers or whatever they are that do the cold damage. Are you heading to bed then, uh, Dennis? All right, have a good night. It's still morning for me, but uh, hey, have a good night. Yeah, it feels weird to still be morning six hours into my stream. <laughs> no, it really was uh, about getting up nice and early today. Okay, I've got a, got a Curare, a couple of these guys, I think. With them slowed, I might be able to get back to the staircases. It's just so much water and they're faster than the water. Also, I didn't quite take the optimal path there. There we go. It's just me versus this one dude. I can finally get it curare as well. There we go. Way better when it's just me versus one guy instead of me versus these, both these guys nibbling away at me. Sorcery and Rage? Rage is alright. But I don't even think I'll curse up this rig. I think I'll leave this one free for swapping. Uh, yeah, I probably do want one free for swapping. Alright. Not that boom race. I thought it might. This one's like trying to bring it out of that shallow water. It's like, uh, well, D, what I mean. It's like, oh, uh, my boom race, I could go grab and to make a legend. And I was, in fact, right. So many of those merfolk do that it kind of makes sense to just presume it might have them. Could easily get mesmerized here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hey, Oshui. Ah, uh, that didn't work. It does a questionable thing and immolate these guys. It's gotta get it started with. Oh, warping doesn't quite work. The lighting rod make any sense to get it started? Hey, there we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, I might just have to walk through the cloud of fire. <laughs> Get back to the staircase because with the amount of noise I made, there'll probably be a number of things come along. All right, where's my next staircase? But no, that uh, that was one of the dodgy emulates when you got no fire in those type of situations. But it was either that or probably having to like teleport out or something, so it felt worthwhile. Hey, his turtle tough shells need to be break your Makurari darts. I don't think the chance is actually based on the creature type, though. I don't think even jellies eat darts when you throw them at you, unless you'll uh, throw them at them. Unless you're like Jeeva or something, then they might. Though then you probably wouldn't be throwing the darts at them. <laughs> Do you have a shield on the ground? Got another kite shield. Disappointing. I'm hoping I find one of the vaults. Hoping to flee this character despise the vaults. I don't do anything silly with like going to the desert which was sold or something. That would be a mildly bad plan. It certainly was my last character. You have better resist for him or so. Oh, a hand cannon on the ground. Not the right character for that, but there's a random heavy handed cannon. I think I've done a dwarf with the cannon before. It was like alright, but they're nothing special with the ranged weapons. And they don't get like reduced heavy armor penalties or anything. That's only the spell casting, so. Yeah, there really isn't that much of a benefit. Mally combat and introspection. Don't ever think to curse. I mean, I got that ring. Um. Hmm. I'm, like, tempted to put that on, because it's a pretty good curse, but I don't think I'll do it. 
Yeah, I get all the good curses, but I've not got anything to curse, although, to be fair, I got a big streak of good curses pretty recently. That's kind of what ended up with me having nothing to curse. Guy might berserk and did berserk. Uh, the berserk pretty quick as well. I can charm it. <laughs> a berserk shark defending me while I run back to the staircase is a pretty good thing. And you can still charm them while they're berserk, you just can't, I think, command them to do things. Like, you can't command them to run away from you and stuff. Um, like, you might if they weren't berserk. Yeah, Scarf Invisibility, sure. But I do, oh, wait, I already had, like, two enchant armor I uh, weapons, I mean, I could have just maxed out my weapon like, a little while back. Oh, well. Or maybe, I, no, I might have picked up three at once. I might not have actually been able to max out my weapon before. Because sometimes you do pick up groups of multiple of a scroll. Oh, so many traps. What are they guarding? Is some sort of fancy hat? Plus two had a regen, minus three int, and four dags. I mean, that's not bad. What is it guarded by? Jack... Jack... What is it? Jadako's ghost. A mountain dwarf monk of a Leland. Hey there, fellow mountain dwarf monk. Not that I think I go find them, because there's so many traps there. Actually, every time I got 11... Huh. Could the theory make that work? Oh, it's a holy ending, isn't it? Can't see the holy creatures yet, but this looks like it might be holy. Um. The moment I'm just trying to bring up what I can, but I might not do this level fully. I might just go somewhere else first. See what comes along though. So far, nothing too bad. I can see things kind of assembling on the other side of that wall though. They're like shuffling around the level. It's just harpies, that would be fine. Harpies, uh, for the number of creatures, they had to be quite weak. Are these guys going to have like a Trishilla of Holy Rats or something? Because I know sometimes they will. Um. All these holy weapons, uh, holy levels. Ooh. Those guys are not going to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immolate them. And then I'm going to... I'm going to throw a javelin through all of them. See if I can get them to blow up. Um... We're going to have a javelin battle. See who lasts the longest. Okay, that's not too bad. I just throw a boomerang at this guy and then go upstairs, I think I'll be fine. I've tried it the entire level, haven't I, with my sound of... I might go down somewhere else with the sound of my emulation there, I think I uh, tried it the entire level. Oh wait, ah, it's not going to move because it's got the javelins going for it, and I didn't quite kill it before I had to go up. A yak? Wait... Regular yaks on these levels? If it was a death yak, I'd say like there's probably famous on this level, but it's not. It's a regular yak. I don't know what that means. Unless this level just spawns regular yaks and I've forgotten about it. This is, might be unique to the holy level or something. I was going to try and drown me, but that's fine. I've got, um, well, I can just hit it, kill it before it does anything too bad. Oh, ah, there's another one pulling me away from where I want to be. I'm just going to run back. That did not work quite as well as I'd like. Uh, could I get it with something? I don't know. I guess I can throw boomerangs at these guys from my staircase. That way I don't have to leave the staircase to chase after that merfolk that's running away. Uh, 
All right, it's back upstairs. These levels do take a bit to clear out, though. Let's see what we've got uh, behind here. So we've got some Trevor Stones. Got a Hellfire Mortar. I don't think there's anything else I really want there. I just pop the Trevor Stones. If they got enough armor class, I probably would do too much damage to myself. If I was uh, head tubbing with Trevor Stones, even if it was like off target, because it, it's often quite a bit off target and just uh, blows you up and with it. But it's like Triple Jake's armor class, so a bit of armor class, so you're not too badly affected. What's that we got? It's got a ring of resist negative intelligence. I don't need to see invisible. Sure. Without my ability to swap rings in a hurry, how much is that actually worth? It might not be worth that much. I can drop the acrobat emblem. Actually, I can swap rings in a hurry. So what's something if I can swap rings in a hurry, I guess? I could swap it if I need to resist negative or something. Oh, there's some actual death yaks. Or just like regular yaks or something. Those are probably polyphemus around here. Would be my best guess anyway. What have we got on this side? Just a talisman? Blade talisman to resist negative? Sure. I like how there are artifact talismans, so they're a bit more interesting. It's not like once you found one of a type, you've just found it. Hey, this is my second rune. Alright, so I did manage to get the rune. I didn't have to worry too much about this holy level. Let's go to... Let's go to what? Vaults? Depths? Either of those, or... Actually, let's go in here. And then release the Trevor Stones. Yeah, look at that. That culled down the numbers quite a lot because most of these guys didn't have any AC. Uh, plus two plate armor covers. This one is mine. I got plus zero plate armor. I might just blow up my plate armor because it doesn't even do anything for me. Oh, of course, I picked up a vial, which is good, but I need to drop. Drop the gloves of stealth. I'm never going to get stealth. Uh, I can drop. Charm weapon. I don't need that one anymore. That's some brilliance. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Well, that transport wasn't too bad. Let's go to the vaults now. Now I've kitted out with slightly different armor. Got tons of gold resist. Can I get some fire resist? No. Sure. Uh, the vaults is all about gold resist, though, so it's probably actually the right way around. I mean, there are, like, the casual lid ones, and there's uniques where I love some fire resist, actually, so having some fire resist on swap would be nice. Oh, speaking about having fire resist on swap, um, I might have stuffed this up. Uh, hold up. I might have one too many times. Okay. I can hit them with some fear. A healing potion. Uh, I think I could just go this way. Staircase is quite a long way away, isn't it? Yeah, this is why one fire resistance on swap would be nice. That's the Linworms, isn't it? Some my health back. Hmm. How big is that slime creature going to get? Oh, that's big. Wait, can't the trolls open the door? There they go. I was wondering where the trolls would figure out that they could open the door. They were probably blocked by the slime creature for some time, though, before they finally got to it. They must have been anyway, because they... What? Drop... Uh, opening it before. Ooh. Uh, it's more power potions. I can drop... Protection... I don't think I've got a wonder of Quicksilver, so I can't stop these guys recalling if they decide to recall. They 
guess is fine. I got the... What did I get? I got the one the light or something? I got the one the warping... Wait, where is it? Where's my beam one? Do I just not have a beam one? I might just not have a beam one just yet. Yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, the ones that, when they recall, like, a uh, fairly normal size of creatures, it's not too bad. It's when they recall everything that's a problem. Can I polymorph this dude? Nah, it's like 40% or something. I splashed it with my vial. I didn't really want to have to use that, but it's... I don't have resist to, like, most of the beams it's doing to me, which is the problem. Mally combat and beguiling. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to, uh... Try to curse back up my plate armor now that I've got a new set. Mally combat's fine. Beguiling's not that useful, is it? So I might just hold out for something slightly better. Because I've been seeing recently some fairly good curses that I haven't been able to use because I had nothing to curse off at the time. What's on the ground there? It's not more armor, is it? No, it's actually some barding. Uh... But I guess technically it's more armor if you're a centaur or something. All right. Just move back into here with the mark. Oh, the lead worms again. At least this time around they can only uh, get to me one at a time instead of surrounding me. What's this shop? I want to know what it is. A scroll shop. And I'm marked. But there's a Chanta. But Chanta is good. There's also a silence. Resist poison. No, not poison. A scroll of poison. Not resistance. I don't think you can even get a scroll of resist poison. That's not even a thing. And there's more might, so it's going to last even longer. Anyway, I can... I've got 9 in shot I can get 10 or 11. I mean, that's still enough where I'd be using it all as a single piece of armor. Once I get that single piece of armor... Alright, good old marked again. I've done enough of the level, I don't think this is going to be a problem though. It's not, nothing really came along. Did I get resist electric? I don't think so. Got 16 evasion because I got the ring that lets me dodge effectively despite my heavy armor. It gets like plus 10 evasion or something, but I think that's the only thing I've really got in terms of uh, actually being able to dodge yet. Oh, is this javelin going to hit? <laughs> Maybe not. There we go. I thought like the silver javelins and stuff after that, so it wasn't it. Uh, yeah, in fact, I've got more silver javelins than I have regular javelins, so I wasn't exactly sure of things to keep on throwing in that bog out. My cards are plus zero. Uh, what was this curse? Cutting self. I mean, I guess that's alright. I'll put that on my armor. Then I'll go smash the gloves of. Oh, uh, summoning a fortitude. Oh, yeah. Or companions of fortitude, whatever it is. Uh. Do I have to? I'm gonna head to the doorway. Because that guy's probably going to recall. It didn't quite get his recall off. Just if it hadn't got his recall off, it would have made sense for me to be in the doorway. Ow, so much fire damage. Do I have any potions of resistance? 
I do not have any potions of resistance. That's even worse when it comes to fighting uniques. Hmm. I can't even just like head over to the depths or something because that also requires a fire resist. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to run whenever I see a unique that requires fire resist. There's two of these dudes. Let's go. Three of these dudes. Let's go all the way to the deck gates, which of course got sealed. Um... Ah, I think that calls for a teleport. Yeah, I mean, getting sealed in there with all those guys is just a little bit too much. Uh, that's fine. The Thunderhawks are a max view distance, so let's just back up a little bit. The so couple of them got recorded to start zapping me with electricity. Let's give them a retreating back a long way here. Just try and get my health back as they retreat. Whew. That's a little bit more electricity on me. Okay, what do I want to get? I can get... I mean, I can get fighting all the way up, but... um. Oh, throwing's down a little, I might bring it up to like 18 or something, and shields can probably go all the way up. I haven't quite got the, oh, the armor's down a bit as well, actually. I might get a little bit more of that. But still. The best thing to do against these guys. Oh, I might actually teleport again. I tried to keep with the range of that game, but I also didn't want to be uh, taking attacks from it. Especially when it was mined up. This does not look good. Although, I don't think the Crystal Guardian noticed me, thankfully. Because that's the one they could have made that a lot worse. I think it was the fragile. What's this damage? You can do up to 70-something damage? That's a ton of damage when it gets fragile on me first. Plus one and a half times 70, whatever that was, 72 or something. Hmm. Oh, device and fortitude. Do I have a thing to cast? Do I? might put that on my gloves. Yeah, I mean, that seems fine, I guess. <laughs> it's two more AC that I had before I swapped my gloves. Alright, guy, come around this corner. There we go. How does guy get mice? I didn't even notice. It doesn't really matter. But it might be there's a guy there that can, like, recall creatures, because I know those can bite, um, things. That'd be my best guess, but I could really see what might is up. Ooh. What I might do is I might do... I do some fog. Oh, it didn't spread. <laughs> Just trying to make it so the Thunderhawk could uh, see me till it got close. Okay, good. I killed the guy with the the firebolt that it could do the... Wait. If there's more of those guys with the... the more those... Whatever they're called. What are those guys called? Well, the Hell Knights, that's what they're called. If there's more of those around, that means there's probably Marjorie around here. Although, what's this ghost? Is all his own? Vu Ferg Kemp's ghost. Coglin Fighter of Trog? They are kind of on their own. They look doable, I think. Oh, uh. <laughs> Kind of, I might actually release the spiders. Right, they were definitely on the top side. Maybe I shouldn't have released them just then. I could probably could have... I don't, don't know. The spiders are there to be used, so... I don't trust that not to have Marjorie. I'm just going to leave that bush on the level and come back there sometime later on when I got fired this... Because Marjorie could probably take me out of like one or two heads or something. At least the, some of the creatures you can have her with her, like searing wrenches, could do quite a lot to me. I do not want to stick around there. 
Oh, good. I get to bring the scabs to this. I was worried that it would, like, uh... Exclude off the staircase. Oh, come on. I just want to go upstairs. I want to get shoved around by a dire elephant. Have I seen anyone with a shield? I don't think so. It's a buckler of Maclev's Delight. That one might be new, but um, it's just a buckler. Unfortunately, hey, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. A tower shield. Because I got like 25, 26 skill with my shield. So, actually, what do I have? 25.3. So I can just go blow up this little shield that I've got and put on a bigger one. I've currently got 16 shield value, 17 evasion. Where is it? Destroy the kite shield? Yes. Alright, 23 uh, shield value, same evasion because I got enough skill. I guess there's basically no penalty on the shield. Oh, it's definitely a little bit more shield value, which is nice. Um, yeah, I don't have a huge amount of decks, so it's not a huge amount of shield value. So the characters are stacked decks that can get ridiculous amounts of shield value. But it's definitely a nice little upgrade. Six more shield value is definitely nothing to laugh at. That's just a little oh, Shikai shield. Uh, and it also is like an extra block each round, although uh, it probably does actually matter in here. I know some of these things like trolls can get a lot of attacks as well. Which can definitely use up the blocks that you have remaining on your shield. But that's a good thing about at least with the archer characters, they tend to not do huge numbers of attacks. That they don't get through your blocks quite as fast. Oh, another tower shield, hey. That's not good. Let's get out of here with the teleport. This guy can paralyze me, but I'll probably be fine. Yeah, because I was about to teleport out anyway. That's the problem. There's already some tough creatures in there that it gets a recall off. This is fine. So I can't pick up my mirror yet. I need to drop. Flight. I've got a better flight, of course. But I'm even wearing the better flight one, so there's no point in. Carry around a useless flight rig. Oops, that's the floor. It's got 7% on the agony. Foreign lemon I might use for, but it always doesn't feel worth it. It always feels better to save it for things where I actually need it. Things with like banishment and stuff. I don't know. I kind of actually need it with that guy. I'm not sure. Elements of sorcery. I'm even looking for curses right now. Let's see. Oh, I am. I'm looking for a tower shield curse. But probably not that one. Okay, it's got 4% of paralysis, which sounds okay. Excellent. Now the room clan. This is a guy. I take a shield, right? It was a plus zero one. You gotta check all the shields, you see, just in case they're like pretension or something along the lines. The majority of them are unbranded, though. Oh, uh, I gotta kill the Thunder Hulk. Oh, uh, is that me too wounded? No, I think I can just kill this guy. Might have to use the healing potion if it keeps up like this, though. Um, actually, can I hit him with a. Warping? And then a uh, mind burst? There we go. That got rid of it. I do have a lot of ones, unfortunately. Uh, they seem to be a rare this game. Well, I think I put a bit of skill to my ones just so I can use them effectively. Even if they are a bit rare. It's got a recall, isn't it? Uh, hasn't started yet, so maybe not. That was kind of lucky. Just luck that it didn't recall. I didn't have to like teleport out or something. 
But hey, I do have extra teleport scrolls, so it doesn't matter if I have to teleport out occasionally. Right, well, I've got one more level of the vault here, and then I've got to go to another branch. Um, I don't know if I want to fight Beast Eugen. I do like the resist electric, which would make her a little bit more awkward to kill. Although, if I do get her armor, then I get some resist electric, but only, like, after I kill her. It's still maybe useful, because I don't really need the cold resist that my current arm is giving. And I think it usually starts with an okay enchantment bonus, so it wouldn't be bad. That's going to recoil really too much. Or it didn't actually recoil that much stuff. How often can those guys recoil like that? Uh, can they just keep on spamming it? I mean, usually I think they've got something cool down on it. But it seems that when a recoil guy recoils a recoil guy, then that new one can uh, go recoil some more stuff. Whereas I think that otherwise they have recall 13 of those scrolls would charge. Um, can I charge anything I've got here? I can charge my hat. I can charge my... My cloak is nothing. Um, My boots are nothing. No, my boots are nothing. Yeah, I think my hat's the only thing here that actually does something. It does willpower. I might go and charge that one. I'm gonna try and take these out as quick as possible. Send Roka. Um, I'm gonna get smited down if I stay here. Could I run? Got bolts of draining and bolts of fire, but I think I can. Yeah, they're kind of falling behind a bit, which is a good sign. I mean, this guy is gonna get out to me, but that's not too much of a problem. All right, where's the next thing? I, I think because that one's got Saint Roka guarding it. Oh, hey, Beatrice Gen. I guess I am fighting Beatrice Gen. What can I do to her? I can Phantom Mirror her. That's going to make her a bit easier. Maybe. If I can get her with a uh, Ned, is she even poison resist? Oh, she is. Uh, what else can I do to it? Spiders are just gonna die to her, like, clouds. Does her mind burst the ball? No, not really. Alright, I mean, I can throw, like, stuff at her. Like, these boomerangs and stuff. Um, whew, that's actually made a bit wounded. I might just drink a healing potion, but it's not healing that much. Can I get it back in the net, please? I'm running low on the net, which is a bit of a worry, but I guess I can... Boomerang. Oh, she dropped her armor. Plus three Zob Dragon armor. Okay. What am I wearing right now? Plus two armor coverage. I might blow it up. Oh, that's not right. Dude, what is that? Fortune Companions? I might just put that on my shield. And then go blow up the... Palate armor. There we go. I mean, that looks kind of nice. All blue armor that I've got going here. And just one more resist. Resist electric. I'm missing resist fire and willpower, but... Uh, hey, I'm not doing bad with my resist, I don't think. You got a lot of the important ones. Alright, I see St. Roke close again. What do they do? I know they smite and they currently bite it up, which is unfortunate. I might get a few spiders. Hey, they got put in a web. That's really nice. Yeah, because the spiders don't do a lot of, like, damage on their own and stuff, but they can put people in webs, which can be quite helpful, at least. Alright, well, I know Beish Ujian wasn't in there because I killed her already. Uh... I think fire resist was the thing I still have got. I'm not sure whether I go to rage is sorcery, no thanks. Um, I'll do although rage is not bad. I 
Don't know whether to go to depth of the Elven Halls next, because I don't have any fire in this, which would be kind of bad not having that in the depths. But I also don't have any willpower, which would be kind of bad in the Elven Halls. So I'm thinking I might just try the depths. Um... Hopefully that is uh, not a terrible idea. But yeah, otherwise I'm going to end up in the abyss, I think. It's not a guaranteed death sentence or something, but it could be bad. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the depths. Jake, let me just double check that I don't have any extra fire in this now. From sitting somewhere, so there's a glaive of fire in this. Hand eggs. I mean, those are still useless things. Actually, why don't I just throw something at this guy? Oh, I can definitely feel the damage, so the fire damage. Oh, do I know what total portals these are? I just know that they're portals. I don't know, like, whether they're hell ones or pandemonium ones or anything along those lines, I don't think. I guess it's fair enough. It's still pretty helpful for finding, like, portal branches and stuff. The depths is probably one of the few places where it's uh, less helpful because of all the branches that naturally spawn in here. Uh, we do have to leave it an altar in there. That one's quite nice. It's like the leave it an altar in the three areas. Oh, what's this guy got? He's got a heavy flail. Ooh, I'm worried about, like, the Enchantress or something with how many of these brigands are coming along. Uh, I might release the Travis Stones. It'll be a bit noisy, though, but... Hey, it did the trick, so I guess that works. These can change color randomly when they're like that when you've got multiple of them, but I guess it's not too bad. All the colors are not too bad if they're just braced basic ones. What sort of strange vault do we have here that's viewing out of these jellies? It's gotta be a vault, right? There's no way those would just randomly wander around. There might even be a Jeever altar if I get lucky. Uh, not that I need a Jeever altar, but it looks like the sort of area that would have a Jeever altar. What's the chance of this guy confusing me? Oh, immune, right, of course. Because I got the whole clarity going. Uh, minus 12 corrosion? I don't have a lot of armor class, so I got minus 12 corrosion. It's down to 17 instead of its normal 20 something. It's actually, I don't start with a huge no, amount of armor class. Um, First, wait, first burning of my body is a good thing, right? That means I get, yeah, what I see. Uh, throw the boomerangs again. Oh, that's a good spot for the javelins, because now I can be safe for the mutations while I throw my javelins. All right, go back to my boomerangs and my default quiver, because I think that's uh, what I'm most likely to expect of my quiver when I'm using it. It's a random Hellgate. I don't see where all these jellies are coming from. Hey, there we go. There's a Jeeve altar. So they all just uh, popped out of that room somehow. Oh, I guess cutting introspection. That's worth putting on my armor, I think. I will get a tiny bit of dodging. I'll get like the first 10 points of dodging. Well, the skills are doing just fine, I think. In fact, the shields of fighting have almost reached their max value while buffed. Ow. I'm sure there's much I can do to stop this guy tormenting me. I've just got to take it out as quick as I can. Let me demon whip so I don't actually need them. I'm going to stick with my... Um, evening star here. Especially since it gives such good results. It's like fire resistance and something else that I needed. 
Oh, so let me look at it that way. It's five of the cobras, actually. I don't need the. I kind of do need the cobras. I'm sitting on two cobras with the weapon on. But it wouldn't be strictly necessary. It's kind of a vaguely nice to have thing. Let's get strength again. All my attributes look like they're doing just fine. Just buffing strength for more damage makes sense. What's it going to hit me for the orb destruction? Didn't travel very far, so I was thinking not much. Probably no more than like 50 damage or something if it traveled that distance. Or maybe slightly more. It might be able to get up to 60 if it max rolled or something. Um... I might do a cancellation. In fact, I might actually light it up. This can get through my willpower. It's probably the best thing, because I, I think I'd be in trouble if these creatures manage to get me petrified. That's a bit of a shame about that potion, but hey, I think I think I had to do it. It always feels like being in false five or something with all these creatures swarming in, except with better choke points. Uh, get rid of the fire giant first, okay. There we go. Uh, taking actually a bit of damage from these berserk guys. Can I just mirror this one up, I guess? Oh, died in like one hit, but that part of that might be its own mirrored one hitting it. Uh oh. That's a uh, crystal spear book. Hold on. I can... Treat back... I think it should be fine. I don't think it will be able to get me with crystal spears because I don't think I'm with the range of those. Unfortunately, two of my staircases lead to the same area, so I'm going to have to take the third one here. Alright, what's next? More giants. I think that one can actually hit me with the... No, it can't hit me with the least rapid deconstruct because there's no walls actually adjacent to me. Rage combat elements? Am I even... I wasn't going to curse one of my rings, so maybe I should. I was hoping I could have, like, swaps for fire resist and stuff with that ring, but I haven't ever found a swap for fire resist. Um, yeah, so that plan hasn't quite happened. Ooh, is this storm green shield? Wait, hold on. Let me check that. It's enchanted up. It might be worthwhile. If I put it on... Shield value decreases by two. I get a flight and a resist electric. Oh, my resist electric's for my armor. Um, does shock people, though. I've already cursed on my current shield. It's probably not quite worth it. Oh, the shocking people is kind of nice, though. I don't know. I don't think I'd go with it, it's just, uh, just a thought that it could have been alright. What have we got here? Jails, Gravant, Dispersal, Tantrum Recall. Do I ever carry around? I don't carry around anything for Tantrum Recall because I've already got stuff. Makes sense, but I've already got a decent amount on right now. It's got an amulet. Oh, the acrobat. Okay. Well, predominantly acrobat. I think it's got a couple of decks or something to go with it. Uh, still reads to be healthy, but that's a crystal sphere book. Oh, no. There don't seem to be too many creatures around. So if I get this with a silence, can't do his crystal spheres anymore. It should be trivial. Yeah, because I want a couple of crystal, no, I might take three crystal spears, I don't know, two or three crystal spears, and I could be dead, so definitely don't want to mess around with those, because they do summon multiple crystal spears in as well. They don't just uh, go with a single one or two crystal spears or something. Oh, often I think it's about two, sometimes more. Uh... 
That might be best choke point. I think it is. It's not that good. Actually, it's not really working as a choke point at all because these guys are hitting me with reach weapons. So they're just kind of standing back and zapping me. Ooh, an equipment? What's it got for me? It's got a cloak, plus two, poison resist. It's got a staff I'm not really playing and using. Or a demon with a freezing. That cloak, maybe. My cloak's plus zero. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go blow up a cloak here. Um, yeah, blow up that cloak. Goodbye. Probably don't need the poison resisting, it's already on my weapon, but it's still two more armor class. Just definitely something I could do. Yeah, it's pretty much all do need. It's pretty much just 32 armor class. What's this guy got? I guess it doesn't matter when it's dead. It's had... Oh, a distortion weapon. It's a good thing I took it out with range then. If it had distortion. Oh, this guy has distortion as well, so I should... <sighs> Failing to take it out with range. Ah, that took me off the staircase. Of course it did. All these guys upstairs, like you can see more things coming along. All right, well, the gold dragons. I'm on level three here. Hopefully, there's some gold dragons here because I wouldn't mind some gold dragon armor. Oh, hey, Mara. Oh, I should pull these guys back. There's too many things here, especially with Mara around. Okay, so let's pull out the next group, or just one thing, it's not even a group, but it will do. Alright, that red, the little red smiley is almost certainly Mara. Uh, but he's not. There we go, he should come, there we go, he's coming around the corner. Can I just take him round to a staircase? Right, well, that was a fake Mara. Fake Mara again. That's me. That's not going to work. Oh, fake Mara again. Fake Mara again. I think I'm trying to pull up. There we go. Real Mara. I was trying to pull up like the same one over and over and over. And over. And of course, it was always a fake Mara. Hey, there we go. Go rid of him. So I can get... I've got a manual fighting, but my fighting's already 27. I get my shields to 27. I haven't designed a title yet. Probably just an Ash and Zari one I was thinking, though. I'll get armor to like 20, but it seems a bit of a waste of plain armor. Also, Mason Flails could get up to 20 as well. Yeah, there's definitely no shortages on skills there, which makes sense with Ash and Zari. Oh, hey, Gold Dragon. It does come with menace, but... Still. Gold Dragon to Gold Dragon, right? Um, I might just go to the staircase. I can mirror up menace. It's probably me and Silas more often, though, which is better a problem. I can roots about, do I? Did I have roots? Wait, no, I don't have roots. Ah, that doesn't work. I don't think Polymorph's gonna work on him. Zero percent? Nope. If I got him with it, it'd be good though. I can get him with... I can sack with spiders him. Nah, I got rid of my mirrored one, didn't he? That doesn't quite work. I was hoping I'd get him to a good area for warping, but it's not really paying off. Oh, there we go. Then if I bring out the silver javelins, I can probably get through his shield that way. Yeah, look at that. I'm taking chunks off his health. And he doesn't have anything special with his shield, but he does have a tower shield. <laughs> silver javelins probably fine. Please have armor, no armor. I'll have to find another gold dragon by the looks of things. Oh well.
I don't know, maybe I should just enchant up the armor I've got, but I'm kind of stubbornly refusing to enchant up my armor until I get some gold dragon armor. Just maybe not the most optimal. Can I just polymorph this guy? I mean, it'll probably change back his color as soon as the other ones get around, or at least change to something with his color. Oh, come on. <laughs> I guess it's going through a range of cows now. It's probably fine. Just uh, whack it until it's dead. It's uh, actually very ugly things, but still, it doesn't seem to be causing me any problems. Am I even after a curse? Yeah, yeah, am actually. Fortune Sorcery. Probably not a Fortune Sorcery curse, but I am after a curse to put on my cloak. Because I just replaced that with a plus two cloak. Come on, there's gotta be some gold dragons in here. The good thing about gold dragons that gave me fire is I think it would lose me if I resist electric. Although, didn't I have a method of fixing that? Maybe like a ring or something? I don't know. I might not, not have, but I thought I did. Uh, resist fire, resist poison, resist corrosion. What am I missing? Resist fire, resist negative, resist corrosion. Well, that's most of the resists. I've still got an A-swappable ring. Was there anything about this that made it hard to swap? Oh, contaminate. So, well, resist fire would probably help out a lot in here, I think. Yeah, I mean, I lose a cold resist, that's probably fine, but this is like one of everything apart from resist negative, which is a pretty good spot to be in, I think. Have a thing to brand. Oh, what's the wrong throwing thing? Uh... That's my willpower anyway, it's sitting on three pips, so probably can do the Elven Halls after I finish with the depths and have enough willpower. And even if I don't, I'm like level 22, I'm kind of getting to the point where getting banished is not too bad. Let's get rid of the one that digs and then I can just step back a bit. In fact, I, I'm so tempted to bring out the javelins, I might bring out the javelins. I mean, everyone's like lined up with them. We gotta, gotta do something. Oh, I might pull them back out. Yeah, I mean, the guy that's repelling missiles across is like, and it survives all the javelins. Oh, that's fine. Good, I pulled it out of the water, which is nice. Um, I probably should dig here, actually. This is... This is completely fine if I have dig, but without the dig, it might not be so good. It's weird, like, the all the magic map areas after I dig. Oh, it marked me. Uh, I was hoping I could get back to my little choke point that I dug earlier, but I guess not. Wait, what are those kind of pale draconians? That's not particularly unusual. There must be a vault around here. I mean, I guess this uh, whole ending vault must have a bunch of pale draconians this time around. Well, these are not the sort of dragons I want to see. They're not gold dragons. I'll rather kill this guy in a rage before it gets out of his crystal spheres. Where even is it? Just blinking further and further away from me. I guess this is just a room full of freezing guys. Hey, gold dragon, look at that. It should be better. Oh, he's got dragon armor as well. It should be better at fighting the gold dragons as well now, I think. I'll drop the shield. Oh. That was the other source of resistance electric, wasn't it? Oh, well. 
Probably won't be wearing that. Let's take a look at this. So if I put this on, I lose like three evasion. <laughs> Apparently I don't have enough armor skill. I've got like uh, 18 armor skill. It's fine. I'll charge up. I guess it's about, about the same. And not accounting for the enchantment level. What's that? Sorcery? Oh, that's a shame. I'll just blow up my current armor. Shame about my resistance, but hey. Goodbye, space huge and armor. Uh... There we go. I mean, that's way more protected now that I've got enchanted. I should also enchant up. Those boots are nothing. That shield's nothing. Oh, well, I'll do the boots, I guess. I'm missing resist electric, but hey. Where'd we go check for it? It might have just been that shield. It's basic sword dragged up, but it's not like it's charged up. It's fine. I got a bit of a chance to find myself some more resist electric before I go against Zot. And even if I don't get it, I've done uh, Zot Karen as well. Do I sounds up here? I've got two sounds. I think I might. It's another Crystal Spear book. I'm still not like comfortable taking one of those on in 1v1 combat, I don't think. And now I really don't care about these colors, do I? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I kind of guess I didn't care for a little while. Also, why am I not wearing my flight? Let me just put that on. I guess I know why. It's because my other get like, resist corrosion stuff. But I get mute. Oh! Of course, I, I, it, the answer was contaminated. Oh, I didn't even want me when I took it off. It was even you put it on, but not when you take it off. Interesting. Huh. Might actually go with a basic evasion for a little while, though. <laughs> Try and get a bit of that, and then go to... Well, definitely the Elven Halls now. That is a need of some invading. Alright, if that down to 1% of paralysis, I reckon the guys at uh, Banish are probably down to a couple percent as well. Checking out the curses, because I think this gold dragon armor needs a bit of a curse on it. Um, yeah, how are my skills? Right, the fighting's down a little bit. Same with the shields. I mean, everything's down just a little bit because I broke a curse. And just putting on any sort of curse might be enough to bring this back. I can't remember what sort of curse I'm trying to replace, like what I had already, but it doesn't really matter. As long as they don't get like too many of the curses that I've already got or something. What even is that? It's Holy Wrath. Huh. It's kind of like uh, perfect for extended or something. I don't know if this character would do extended or not, but if I do, I've got the Holy Wrath weapon. I'd be doing extended without, like, uh, having death form, but oh well, it might still work. Oh, the spell binder. That's a demon weapon. Disrupts magic. Could be good in here, but. I don't even know if I can afford it. I kind of think this respect is fine. Can I put that on my cloak? Yeah, but the fighting's back up, so I don't need any more um, introspection mods. Something's buffed all of these ones. Was this one the buffed them all? Prayer of Brilliance? Yeah, it was that one. Wait, are these? Uh, of course, the archers are repelling missiles. Um, might have been, like javelins of dudes. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not taking damage. I could just keep on fighting where I am. I get my armor up and I get my mace of flails up a little bit. I'm sure, if I need that much mace of flails. Actually, you know what? I might just go for a title. Let's let's start that. Um. Yeah, I reckon if I don't go for a title now, I'm not uh, really going to get it. I have to get that up to my highest skill, and my highest other skill is 23.3. So I've got to get it to 23.4 at least if I want to get an Ashton Zari title. And I know I've still got some Ashton Zari titles left, so of course I want to go for an Ashton Zari title.
Do I do the Hall of Blades just for like the fun of it? I guess I'll see how well I do against weapons when I get down to this level. Um, oh, that's not working so well. I'll just pull some of these up and find them separately. I think the good thing about that being a pull up is it's not really following me around. I think I do do the Hall of uh, Blades just because I haven't done it in a little while. And I do have some teleports, although those don't necessarily get you out of the Hall of Blades. They just put you straight back into the Hall of Blades sometimes. No curses, unfortunately, not yet. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got someone with... What if warping? I've got some chances of that left. And also, Photos' Ghost, a Baraji Ice Elementalist of Okawaru. I guess they didn't really stick with ice, they kind of just went into hitting people with a sword or something. Uh, 50 damage plus 25 freezing? I mean, that's a decent chunk of damage. Wait, 25 freezing on a 50 damage? That seems like a lot. I thought it was an average of one. Oh, it's showing the maximum. Yeah, it's an average of one quarter, but I think the maximum it does with the freezing is like, uh, the half? Is it between zero and half of the damage you did? Something like that. What's you to melee combats? Not, hmm. Actually, that's all right. Those are skills that I haven't maxed out my weapon skill yet. So those are skills I could get. Yeah, let's put it on my armor. I won't curse out that rig. I want to keep that available as a swap. And hopefully I can find some better things for it. Um, <laughs> but judging by my skills, I would get too much more benefit from getting more curses. I mean, I guess I could get more armor. I could get it all the way to 27 from like 20 or whatever it is right now. You can tell when one of these guys use lightning because it does so much more damage than everything else, but it doesn't do ridiculous damage. All right. All the flames is popped, and I've got like a little choke point here, which is nice to pull things into. But the Hollow Blades in general doesn't have a lot of choke points because it is a hall after all. So it's basically a big open area. Alright, level 23, that's doing pretty well. This character has definitely lived to a decent level. I think there's been a few points where this character felt like they were not doing the best, but the, uh, this weapon's helped him out a lot because they got this pretty early. Was it off an requirement or something? I don't even remember. I think it was. It was a really good thing to find. I don't want to run up there because it's so easy to attract more weapons in the Hall of Blades. Yeah, look at that. Even just retreating back, I retreated three weapons. Or well, attracted three weapons. I imagine how much, like, going forwards or something would get. Right, well, that's probably the whole of the Hall of Blades. So let's go down to the third level. And the good thing about doing the Hall of Blades, it means escape hatches are now available for me to take, like up escape hatches. Not that there'd be a down escape hatch on the third level of the Hall of Blades or anything. Um, what do I even have left to curse? If it's telling me about the curses, I guess I got something. I got the ring, right. Although it might, does it still tell you about curses when you've got all your items cursed up? I feel like it might actually still tell you about them, even though there's kind of not a lot of point because if you, uh, Broken item to curse up another one, you'd lose the curses anyway. Oh, good, I got an enlightenment. Um, I've, hmm, maybe. We'll see if I need that when I get to the next guy that can banish, see what his chance is. Like, if it's just like 1 or 2% or something, it's fine. But if it's sitting more around 10% or something, I might need to use that.
I don't know where the top elves are hiding out this time around. This could be their hiding spot. Because I'm detaining some items in here. I'm also detaining quite a considerable number of elves as well. Yeah, no, that makes me think that this is, in fact, where the elves, the tough elves hide out. In fact, that's a, that's a tough elf right there. Oh, there's repelling missiles, of course, because it's an elementalist, so I might just uh, try and bring it upstairs. Or this one upstairs, it doesn't really matter which one I get. Look, I guess I get something upstairs here. Which means I should probably just exclude this area and go do the rest of the level before I go do that. Oh, it's about to go take on this guy's... That's alright. Uh, go take on his banishment just 2%. Yeah, 2% is fine. Given yeah, that I've got, like, regen, I'd probably survive banishment. I think that's perfectly fine. Did I just see a vampire's tooth? I don't think the vampire's tooth is quite right for this character. Because I think it's like a little dagger. Yeah, it is a vampire's tooth. But it does, does it do full draining or something, like vampiric draining? It does mega vamp, but occasionally heals its wielder for the full amount of damage. I think it occasionally is one third chance. I think. But I could be wrong on that. There's a third way in here, isn't it? Oh, there's probably a fourth way down the bottom as well. <laughs> That's uh, really just decided to give me all the entrances that I think. Getting too close. Probably doesn't really matter. I mean, it's fine if I do these elves now. I would just prefer to do the rest of the Hall of Blades first. Not the Hall of Blades, the rest of this level first. If I just like manually explore away from this for a little while, that might get the order explore going in a different direction. And uh, otherwise, it's just gonna constantly keep it going back to that one spot. Yeah, no, that seems to uh, change things up a bit where it's going. That's like dagger flaming. I feel like most of my characters don't stick with daggers. Like, I don't know. If you're doing short blades, you want to get it on a quick blade. I mean, I guess it's like that with any weapons. It's like sticking with a hand axe or something. You're just not going to do it. <laughs> I mean, I actually have had one character stick with a falchion, I think, because it was just a particularly amazing falchion, and I also didn't find any other good long blades or something. Entering, okay. Uh, which one of these is the closest staircase? If this is thinkable, this is... Oh, this is thinkable. Okay, this is probably the closest one, then. Fine, let's pull it around the corner. If it's going to repel missiles and just uh, do watch me, I should at least try and pull it in close. Okay, got tormented for that one turn that there was a tormentor in there. Um, what have we got a magic regen amulet on the ground for looks of things? For me, who gives us like no magic points. I just step back. Oh, this is not working. Um... I'll still pull out the silver javelins here. I was hoping I could light everyone up, but not like that. But I was just clearly doing a terrible job at it. Should I just keep back and hit those guys with boomerangs or whatever for a little while to have healed? Uh, what's on the ground? It's all the amulet again. It just keep on like seeing the little symbols that go over on the ground. It uh, doesn't tell me exactly what it is until I actually examine it. It's like, oh, it's the one I've already seen. Oh, the haste potion. Wait, how many haste potions do I have? Seven. Okay, that's a bit more reason. Well, for some reason, I thought I had 18, but that was just a curing potion. I was like, that doesn't seem reasonable at all. I mean, sometimes the game does just give you that many. What have we got down here? Good old talisman. Sure. Good old hand cannon. I think that's the uh, least mistaken hand cannon I've seen. So you could do a dual hand cannon coglin with this character. 
All right, well, that's the uh, Elven Hall's done. Am I? I'm after another rune. I think I can just do a Vault Spy with this character. But I'm thinking about maybe a Jelly as well, because I can't get a Resist Electric in there. It's like, no Resist Corrosion, I mean. But unfortunately, it's on a, it's on an annoying ring with a Contaminate when you swap it around. But still, maybe. I'll do Vault uh, 5 first, though. I got plenty of teleports. All right, cool. There's no, uh, no, uh, no escape hatch down, so it's gonna take a normal way down. Where am I? I mean, I kind of have a very good idea of where I am on this level. Oh, hey, the Electro Shark! Thanks for the rate there. How was your stream today? What were you up to today? Let me go see if I can get give you a shout out there. Um. Oh, yep. Uh, it was good. That's excellent. Hope you've come to find me doing uh, more dungeon crawl, of course, today. Although I haven't just been through dungeon crawl today. I did do Baldur's Gate earlier. Oh. I don't like this position. I gotta go somewhere else. Yeah, I think the armory re-equipped these guys. All right. Please don't summon and something that torments me. There we go. As long as this guy doesn't mark me, I'm fine. Which is on all oh, 12%. Can I just enlighten myself? I'd really love not to be uh, marked there, I think. Are you working on music for your friend? Right. No, I think I've seen one of those streams before we were working on music. I'm not sure if it was uh, for the same person or not. I've been playing Caves of God. I should get that a go. Like, I feel like I downloaded it at some stage and I never played it. Sounds like it could be fun. What's the plan here? I got fire resist, right? Are you doing commission to uh, work by this time? It's for a big game. Yeah, I definitely think you've... I think I've been in one of your streams where you're working on something for a big game. I think. It definitely sounds familiar, at least. Anyway, let me traverse those these guys. I know it's noisy, but so is blowing everyone up, so... Actually, I have a feeling this is a bad spot. I might teleport out. It's too much stuff. Yeah, that's better. So I want to I wanna bite up. I don't have a lot of bite. I almost maybe want to haste up. I think I do want to haste up as well. Because this has been just uh, pain <laughs> going in here. Sometimes it's just like a fairly casual walk once you get in here, but not today. Although it looks like I finally got to do a teleport, so I can just tab through all these guys now. Yeah, no, that's fine. There's nothing else coming along, I don't think. Oh, it's this dude. Oh, it's like a cyberpunk deals, uh, DCSS kind of thing. Yeah, like, do I've heard that you can, like, make mutant characters uh, with... Where it's like actually part of your build instead of just being like an annoying thing in DCSS in Caves of Cards. But I've never actually tried it. Oh, this looks bad. It certainly did look bad. We were in a bad spot, but I think that after a couple of teleports, we're good now. <laughs> oh, there's definitely a lot of, uh, lot of creatures trying to get to me. Oh, you can control the mutations. Right, that would be why... People are doing, like, builds with, like, certain mutations and stuff. Yeah, I think I've seen, like, a stream for Caves of Cut before, and I think I even downloaded it, but then I didn't play. And I don't know why. Oh, someone's got a hand cannon. I thought they got it from the armory. Of course they did. Um... Oh, it's gonna be noisy, but I'm gonna blow these guys up again. Okay. That's alright. How many can I get with Javelin? Three of them. That's not too bad. Something's gonna blow any second now. That's more like it. Yeah, the giants blow up in a bigger area than other things, and that's caught me off guard, like, many times before. <laughs> um, not just the ones. Especially, like, I think it was like, an ice cave or something. Uh, I had, like, a giant, and I decided to blow it up. I don't know if this fight is going very well for me. I might have just had to stand in the fire. Because it's got repel missiles. And it's also got like... 
um, ranged attacks. So yeah, that was not a good spot for me to be. You get psychic spells and physical mutations to give you an advantage, right? It's interesting how many like uh, sort of sci-fi themed games still have like spells in them. I kind of like it because it gives you like a really unique set of abilities. Yeah, I'm not, can I go to a pull up? It's Holy Wrath. It's probably not the best brand. I won't go to a pull up because I'm no. I really love the Trishella though, the Condemnation one. That was such a nice one. Just uh, today we're bashing things over the head with blunt objects instead of. Stabbing them with pole arms. Under rail has a similar vibe. I don't know if I've even heard of under rail. Hmm. No, it's not sounding not sounding that familiar. Ah, it's a dread lich. Okay, I was wondering what that thing was that was getting marked as dangerous there. The one-player tactical game? Hmm. Yeah, definitely not ring any bells. I probably have not heard of it. Alright, there we go. The guy that recalls is gone. These wrestling guys, I can clean up, no problems. I was like, Baldur's Gate, but in the post-apocalypse. Also, it's kind of like, uh, it's a turn base with a team, except... Like one person controlling the whole team, or more like. Because I've played like a few of those old sort of team based, well, not really team one, but where once you control an entire team. Um... Oh, it's no team, it's a single, single one. Okay. Can an armory give a dragon a weapon? I don't think it can. I think it only gives things weapons if they, like, naturally start with weapons. Or if they are able to wield weapons, because uh, I think shapeshifters... Actually, how does that work with shapeshifters? If it gives a shapeshifter a weapon and the shapeshifter, like, shifts away, does it just drop the weapon and it disappears? Because I think those weapons disappear when you drop them. I have no idea how that works. That's fascinating. Okay, we've got to get rid of the Dread Lich. But also, oh, I gotta get rid of that elf as well. Because the elf can also summon in things in torment. Both of those guys could be a problem. A sort of a power trip sort of game if you can survive. Right, so you kind of, uh, do you sort of build up power as you go um, until it gets to kind of a, a ridiculous level. Because I know it's like some games like Noita, which is about building wands. You start off like really weak, but if you get the right things in combination, you can get like ridiculous. And just, uh, you can kind of, actually in that game, you can do things that like slow your computer down to a crawl as well. <laughs> uh, with some of the wands. But yeah, I know it's, uh, you start off pretty weak in a game like that. So I guess it's sort of similar sort of thing. I mean, there's also, you can play lots of different builds. I know in some games they have like a lot less randomness in like what skills you get. Like in DCSS, if you're trying to do a certain build, sometimes the game will just like refuse to give you a spell or something. I mean, if you take Sif Mata or something, there's a higher chance or something. But I, bet I had that yesterday when I was trying to do a Manifold Assault build. The game just was like, nope, not today. You're not getting Manifold Assault. Uh... I should move up to this guy. I think the Reaver here is the most dangerous thing. Actually, I might mirror it up. It's going okay. Oh, <laughs> it instantly dies, of course. Yeah, are Reavers actually in resistance to their own beams? No, so they're resistant to cold. At least that one doesn't. I have an item. Yeah, it does. They're not resistant to their own beams. No wonder it dies so quick. Uh, it's Ponderous Blade Armor. Okay. Oh, trying to figure out where your health is melting to? Right, so I have missing resist, like resist corrosion, resist negative, resist electric. So when a reaver hits me, 
Oh, those gloves are kind of nice. Um, lose two armor class, but maybe. They're fusion. I think that's worth it, because I don't use my magic points. Uh, what I was trying to say is, uh, yeah, missing resist. When a Reva pegs a resist that I don't have, it does a lot of damage to me. Oh, those plus one gloves are fusion. I only lose one AC if I do that. Um, that seems totally worth it. I've got no other use for magic points. So let's, uh, let's go blow up these gloves. They're devices of fortitude. All right. How does that affect things? I probably didn't need the... Oh, the fortune was armor, I think. Probably does affect things. But not that badly. Yeah, I think uh, Fusion can actually be pretty decent when you don't have other sorts of field magic. If Fusion can be cool, yeah. Like, I'm an Ashen Zara character, so I don't use god uh, magic points of my god or anything. Yeah, actually, this feels pretty good. Oh, that guy went invisible, like the guy they just killed. They got shot in the back by his own teammate. I love how enemies will shoot, shoot their own teammates in the back. Because it's actually, the player can see their own uh, invisible allies, but the enemies can't, which is an interesting thing. It's usually it's monsters that cheat, not the player, but uh, it's a bit different with seeing your own allies. In fact, monsters weirdly can't even see themselves if they're invisible. So a wizard, or what it, a cultist, I guess he called now, will happily, like, fireball itself if it's invisible, which is really weird. That probably doesn't make as much sense as enemies hitting their own teammates. That's the one to flame. I think I dropped my one to flame because it's pretty useless at this point of the game. That's distortion, isn't it? I should have just walked up to him. No, it's a warping. Okay, so uh, I just presumed it was like some sort of wand or something. It's like, oh, that should be fine. Also, I'm mic'd right now, but that's also fine. I'm glad that marking waited until I've got this level clad before it happened. Well, basically clad. And then I'm coming along like uh, it's at the start of a level. Because if you get marked like early on, you have to cancel it, then you have to teleport out. To somewhere else that hasn't had all the creatures attracted to it, and it's really can um can take a number of teleports to get somewhere good, so it can be kind of a big setback. Oh, the plus seven flaming broad axe and resist electric. I do need resist electric, but I don't think I can go with the broad axe because I don't have any skill with it yet. Oh, probably ever. Nothing else here. That was all that Trishilla. That I also don't have skill with, so I don't think I'll go with that one. I think I'll just go to... I might just go to Zod. I think this character is ready to head to Zod. I've learned that the fun way to always check that they're distortion. Yeah, at least they actually have the highlights now, because before that, you basically didn't know until you, they first hit you a lot of the time, where they were distortion a lot, but at least with the highlights, it gives you an idea that you should check. Uh, I'll drop a Revelations. Although, the Revelations are as important, because I'm already with Ash and Zari, which, actually, that magic mapping everything in sight range, or one further sight range, or whatever it is, is actually pretty good with digging, because that means I'm not gonna dig through into somewhere like another group of creatures accidentally. Oh, the highlight is good, yeah, I... I think you can even customize it to be some things, but I haven't really looked into that. It's definitely helpful. <laughs> like, it feels rare enough that it's actually, like, not just all the time, because that would be pretty useless. Uh, did I kill the Moth of Wrath? I thought it was one more. Probably still fine. Ooh, a Prince of Secrets. That's a good, uh, that's a good sign. That means I've got my Ash and Zari title. Oh, the fighting's like ages away. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna stop that there. I'm gonna get... I wanna set that limit on the base fighting, uh, base armor. But I can't, so I'm gonna try and get that to 24, and just see how the base is looking after that. It'll probably be around 20, which means I can probably trade it a few uh, skill points higher than that. Gonna get rid of the electric guy first. Um, I don't like how the other guy's berserk, but it's probably fine. I just throw till I kill this guy. There we go. 
Oh, you killed two? You guess it's, but you guess it's three? Yep. There's, sometimes there's always more of those guys just hiding around the corner with the creatures, waiting to berserk them up. Hey, Campania is an introspection. What am I even looking for? I don't need introspection, do I? My smoke, uh, fighting's maxed out. I need armor and weapons, I think, if I want to curse something up. Um, those are probably the only skills I've got that I haven't really maxed out just yet. Gotta really love sort of late game matches, Zari, where your skills are hitting 27. In fact, if I hadn't have got the invocations just for a title, I probably would have got all my useful skills to 27 a little while back. Alright, let's go down again. Um, Actually, I don't need an Amulet of Faith. I was just going to say I should go grab an Amulet of Faith, but I don't need it with Ash and Zari. And Ash and Zari works a bit differently getting the titles. Instead, you just break... Half your items until your piety goes down to the level you needed at. This doesn't look the best. Alright, if I'm in this corridor and I'm throwing javelins, I should be able to do something at least. There we go, that's better. Oh, another... Wait, more electric guys? Oh, come on. I mean, I can throw some javelins, but I might have to drink and resist electric or something to see how this goes. No, one of them's dead. I might be fine. Yeah, I think I'm standing far enough back the, from the back of that corridor that doesn't get to doubles at me. Because I believe those ones can't reflect their else. Energy, you're in danger. I kind of was a bit of better danger, yeah. So digging into that wall definitely helped. But no, that was a lot of electric guys. Do I want to swap around in my rigs? Um, kind of want to put this one back on instead of the evasion. Get the whole fire resist resist corrosion, I guess. Actually, am I just do some more digging? I've Use relatively few digging this game, so I might as well start using them now. That's fine. Can't get rid of that haste so well, but I did kill it. Good. Gotta definitely keep an eye on my health over this guy's that are electrocuting me. Or even with it, just with these guys with their Quicksilver, because that ignores all your resists, so that can also do a lot of damage. Alright. Ooh, ow. Instantly gets me with the torment. Anyway, I should be fine if I turn into a tree. And if it summons things around me, which of course it did, I can get out the silver javelins. Uh, just shoot straight through the summons. I don't care about introspection and sorcery. What am I even trying to curse up? Just my gloves? Do I have like another enchant armor? I don't know if I do. Those are all weapons, aren't they? That's a ton of spare enchant weapons because I think the start at plus five, which definitely helps when it comes to enchanting things up. Oh, whoops. I meant to go to the, my boomerangs, but clearly I swapped back to the thing that I already had quivered previously. Right, it's level two of the vaults. This seems to be going all right. I think I, if I take this size and slow and steady, I should be able to get all the way down. I also I might spend one turn magic mapping here. But I want to pull these guys just a little bit closer. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, it's a good old gold dragon. I remember searching for gold dragons in depths. I actually got a, I think I got the armor pretty quick. Like, you got off the second gold dragon or something. Are you gonna head off? All right. See you later at the electric shark. I appreciate the raid. No, no, definitely. S Hopefully, I can stop by one of your streams. <laughs> Although, this is actually a bit earlier than I stream today than normal. It's not my, not my normal time. I hope you have lots of fun. Yep, this is this run is definitely going fun. I think going Ash and Zarya on the mountain drop is a good idea, but I want to try it on like a I want to try it on a magic mountain drop at some stage. See how that feels. Still, I haven't decided like what start I go with. I think I haven't done a fire elementalist and uh, maybe an alchemist. I haven't done. I don't quite remember though. Ooh. I want to back up, but not yet. I did take the opportunity to throw the damnation at me. Man, it's definitely refusing to move up. That's annoying. Okay, let's... Actually get a, get a choke point dug through here. There we go. It's also going to wait back to the staircase if I need it, but I probably won't. Well, it depends what the shifter does, but it's where that one puts me. At least if it shifts me around, it's going to shift me towards the staircase, which is always a nice thing. Oh! No, my game crashed! Okay. I wonder why it crashed. Does it say? Oh, failed to open the cruel manual.txt again. That's the crash I got yesterday. Huh. Strange. I have to look into that one at some stage. But, oh, I've done a decent amount of this level. I'm back to the start of this level. Also, why do my sprite here? Um, why do all these dudes sprites? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a black... Oh, that's a black draconian? Oh, this is going to be annoying. Figure out what kind of draconians I'm fighting. Because all the sprites just... What is that? Death cop? Oh, no. These last few levels are going to be, um, hard. Oh, there's a Moth of Wrath, okay. And a Death Cob. Death Cob can't go berserk, so... The body looks great, at least. And the sprite should fix himself, like, uh, fairly quickly, but not immediately, unfortunately. Um... Oh, that thing, that little body? It means there's a creature. That's not a Pearl Dragon, it's a Storm Dragon. Oh man, this is so confusing. The items are great. It's just a uh, monster tile uh, sprites that have been messed up. Quicksilver dragon. <laughs> it's so easy to just like preserve as to what it looks like it is when it actually isn't. <laughs> Alright. I guess I hadn't really got that far. I'd only got about this distance, I think, when I crashed. That's a shifter, right? No, it's a storm cooler. I gotta have to be so careful with those uh, calling in the. Oh, what are they called? The. Oh, what are those guys called? The ones that do the foul pestilence. What are they called? The death breaks. That's what they're called. That's a red record. It looks like a black hole. <laughs> yeah, let's pull it back. The black hole draconian. Uh, who just shot me with fire? Wait, is a purple draconian here? Was that even fire that hit me? Oh man, this is so confusing. <laughs> I'm glad this happened like near the end of the game. That's a what? There's a there's someone draining my magic points, right? Maybe not. Right, draconian. So that one can hit me with stuff. Damnation. Wait, what? Why is it giving shooting damnation? It's not immune to damnation, is it? Oh, it's not shooting damnation, is it? No, it is. Yeah, so one of these is black. That was a black one. Not the white one. <laughs> Hold up. I'm just going to back up a little bit and get out the javelins. So I can hit more of the more of them the one at a time. 
There we go. That's better. There's already a purple one left. I gotta try and quickly reload things, see if that fixes it up, but it probably hasn't been fixed yet. No, it hasn't been fixed yet. It usually, like, it's a, a weird bug that people haven't figured out why yet, but when a new sprite is, like, added, it messes up all the sprites for a little while until the game's, like, rebuilt a couple of times and everything just fixes itself. Um, <laughs> yeah. No one's managed to be able to figure out why that happens yet, so it's still a bug that just happens. Oh, the Moth of Wrath. The Kraken's a Moth of Wrath. I think I'm beginning to get the idea there. That's a electric dragon. I wonder if the icons are correct. Also, I wonder what creature just got added. Gold dragon, alright. It's probably something that hasn't yet made it into the game, but it's got a sprite, or... Well, not necessarily. It could be a new sprite for an existing creature. And I certainly can't tell in this state of the game. Green Monk's gonna get behind me. Okay, I might just javel on these. I like how the game at least saves like once each level, so that if you uh if the game crashes, you are gonna repeat on average about half a level, but it's still not great. <laughs> It almost feels like it needs to save a little bit more, but then I guess it's a little bit hard to... Oh, that tentacle monstrosity, okay. But I keep on getting confused by the surprise. I like totally thought that was just an ugly thing, even though it doesn't make any sense for an ugly thing to be here. Hey, that's the wrong thing. I just meant to throw a boomerang. Is that actually a trident? It's a glaive. Oh, even the weapon sprites are uh, mucked up as well, I guess. In that case. Hmm. Uh, armor's 24, but I, what's the base value that matters? It's still only 20. So I might bring the armor up to 26, which will probably still leave its base value lower than my invocations. I also have base of flail 17. Okay. Might bring the base of the flails up to 25 as well, which will probably also leave a space value less than my invocations. And if it does, if I do accidentally lose my title for a little while, I can just do a tiny piece of crimp to get it back or whatever. Yeah, white draconian. Uh I wonder what the... Oh, those orb guardians. <laughs> they almost look like a good spot for a firing squad as well, like with the actual sandals. In fact, I haven't checked out the traps yet, have I? This side's probably with the... Yeah, you're gonna have to go to that side with the dot traps, because that side's got a teleport trap. Alright, sure. That works for me, I guess. But it'd be terrible if the health bars got stuffed up and you couldn't tell how much health the creature was on. But I, I don't think that's likely to happen because that's not like a sprite. That's just a, just a bar. Yeah, that was a storm cooler and it summoned something in. Progenitor, okay. Uh, it's turning into a satire. I mean, but those ones are... Oh, the, at the, it's like a Dowd. No, Juvessa, I mean. That was Juvessa. Alright, well... Uh... Oh, no fire looks like an actual boulder. Like the one you get out with bronze barreling boulder. How's my fire? Is it sitting on two? Might do a haste. Uh, it's magic. Actually, I might do the silver javelins because I think the ults of fire are vulnerable to those. Spells don't matter. Body deteriorates doesn't matter. That should be fine. 
the speed changes are basically just plus one AC, which, as far as things go, is uh, definitely still positive. I hope those are, those are still Zod traps, right? Zod traps look like Zod traps. Excellent. I'm pretty sure all the traps are accurate. Oh, those are Orb Guardians and a Dreadlich. That's fine. Just throw some silver javelins through everything. There we go. Wait, what are those? Are those Swap Tubbed as a creature? I can't even examine to see what they are. Uh, are they all orbs of fire? Surely not. Why well, just get back? Okay, so we've got the... Actually, I'll stand here. Running low on the javelins, though, but... Oh, well. I'll use the ones they do have to try and damage these orbs of fire. I like how the creatures on the sprites are like, on the flying sprite sheets, like the similar ones are kind of close to each other. So, like, if the orb of fire is a bit different from boulder, but it's still like a round... Barreling creature. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how an orbit fire moves around. I guess they just float. Got the basic javelins. Um, they don't do quite as much. Killer cloud. I mean, oh, clouds got multiple sprites, of course. It's still definitely, oh, some of those are actual, like, cloud ones as well, but they still kind of look like something that could be a cloud. What just happened to me? Midas Cold Resist. Potions are less effective in restoring my health, okay. Uh, the Midas Cold Resist is not great, but the rest of those are probably fine. Also, can I get a... Why are the resistance potions? <laughs> there were zero resistance potions this game, sure. Why just mine up? It's a good thing I'm doing, like, just fine with my fire just sitting at two. I also might want to get rid of potions that are less effective. I don't know. These are not terrible, but I got 10 mutations, so I'm going to reset some stuff. Okay, I got minus kill resist. That's probably fine. In fact, that was a nice little uh, reset there because I just kind of got rid of some bad stuff. Oh, of course I can see the ghost balls because I'm with Ashton Zari. Um, might as well use these last 10 boomerangs I've got if I want to. There's no point in saving them when I'm this close to the end of the game. Because with boomerangs, you don't really need more than a couple. Um... Because it's not like they end up on the floor and you have to go pick them up. I mean, they... Yeah, they always return to you. Or is there something like javelins you kind of do? I just got marked. I have to do a cancellation. Haste. Should be the same speed as these guys now. I'm gonna pull them around this corner. I think that will be fine. Least, I think that's the least chance of like, uh, ending up in an orb of firefight. Oh, it's on the Zod Trap, but it didn't set it off because it was on the Zod Trap when I put it into view. Um, what is that? Why Draconian Storm Cool? Okay. Uh, this looks like uh, something that I'm going to need some javelins. There's plenty of creatures coming along here. Black recording, yellow recording. Okay, these are all fine. These aren't even that tough. Gotta use another one of these haste because I got plenty of blinking for the orb run. Oh, what's this? Uh, I now imagine getting character coding issues on console. Right, the like the all the characters like in the wrong ones or something. I wonder if that ever happens. Probably not. 
No, I think it's like a, a specific tiles bug, but it'd be kind of funny if it did. That would be so confusing, though. I mean, it would be, at least with the sprites, like, it's fairly obvious that they're wrong, but on console, it might not be quite as obvious. Like, uh, a character is still a character, right? <laughs> And there'd probably be some monster that would actually map to that. Um, Petricat might. I don't like this massively. What's that do to me? Not much. My feet got bigger. What is if a curse item pops off? Does it? Oh, I think I actions already now prevents curse items from popping off. Oh, I gotta reset that teleport and exit creatures. Oh, I'll just kill this guy first. I gotta reset that quickly before it takes me to the other lung chamber. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Oops. Is that an ancient lich? <laughs> Looks like Khufu. Like, what's Khufu doing all the way here? Usually it's a, like, crypt or something, but not today. Today it's just an ancient lich. I've got another cancellation. Maybe I should have drunk some willpower. I thought my willpower was pretty good, but I'm glad he's got a, a small chance there. Alright. Well, I think I've got everything I need. So I've got the I've got the title. Well, the right sort of title. The invocations one. So let's just grab the um, orbs on. Something heard me grab that because I heard them shouting back at me after I grabbed it. But, oh, what's that? An Efreet? Looks like an ancestor. Alright, let's get out of here. Go to Dungeon Zero, would you pl uh, please? I can't resist. Oh, I can't resist back because I reset my mutations some time back. Also, what are Pandemonium Lords going to look like? Are they still going to look like Pandemonium Lords or am I going to have to watch out? That's a Dave or a Cherub. Okay. Sure. What even is that sprite? And that feels like a removed monster. It almost looks like a stone giant, except it's dressed funny. Wait, that might just be like an old uh, sprite for an existing monster as well, because some of the old sprites haven't been removed yet. That's an executioner. <laughs> it looks worse like it's a hell central. Executioners are uh, not that bad at this point in the game. Actually, that looked like a Lemur. Why do you never meet Lemurs outside of, like, um, Pycor's pack anyway? Feels kind of strange. That's Padlord, right? Hey, the Padlord's a Padlord. It's probably I got the wrong sprite, but you could never tell. Not even that fast. If I just haste up. Try to crystal smear me. Oh, that's, uh, Rust Devil. I thought that was a Tormentor. I was like, oh, this, uh, that's bad, but no, this is fine. I can just run to the snake to get out of here. Oh, like a monster showing up is, uh, oh, like the character has shifted to, oh, if it's a unicorn, it shifts to, like, another unicorn character. You can get some really funny characters. Although I'm not sure most fonts, like, monospace ones have, like, the whole set of unicorn characters. Oh, hey, Gopek. They're really fast. I think the correct thing to do is move there, then blink. Oh, whoops, that's a, that's a pandemonium lord and a rust devil. It's super speedy. Okay, well, that's fine. I just go to where I can see the staircase and then blink, I think, is the correct thing to do. I'm actually getting up the dungeon fairly quickly. Lord Guardian, all right. Yeah, dungeon level two, dungeon level one, come on. Am I on the exit? There we go. I'm a prince of secrets. I gotta figure out what I gotta be. Um... I don't know if Loblo bot's still in chat. It's probably left because it's... Uh, actually, no, it might still be in there. Actually, it probably is still in there. I read it less than six hours ago, I think. What is this? I'm, uh... I kind of just query, like, God equals Ash, I guess. See which ones I've had. And then I'll probably have to look at the title one because I've had a number of them. So I've had... See if... Okay, let's go. Let's go look at them. Where are the God titles? I should start at the top, of course. I I just I worked through for the pie piety ones. I probably have omnificent, have I? Yeah, I've had omnificent. What about Prince of Secrets? I have, and I think I have Illuminatus as well. 
Uh, which one of these are the later ones? I think it's the top ones, the later ones. Oracle? I think I've had Oracle. I've had Sia. What about Initiated? So Initiated and Cursed are like the only two left, I think. Does look like I had it. Let me specifically query for that one. Um... I spell that correctly? I don't think so, actually. Uh, it only works if I spell this correctly. Otherwise, it's obviously going to say I haven't had it. So it's, um... Initiated. I think it's spelled like that. Okay, it does look like I've had that one. So I've got to get down to one pip of piety. The only way to do that is by shattering the chains here. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, okay, then? What are you talking about? I mean, you shatter the chains. Um, I'm missing a menu here. Hold on, let me quit out of this and go back in and see if that helps. Probably won't. There's a, it bring, it's bringing up an invisible menu when I go to Shadow of the Chains. Give me that one. I can't mouse click them. Oh, I gotta have to, hold on. Oh, my inventory is invisible. No, how do I tell what, okay, a character dump, hold on. <laughs> if I do it, why is my inventory invisible? This is, a, yeah, that's the problem with playing a trunk. Where's my inventory? I just gotta focus on the things I'm wearing. Um, actually, let me... Let me just put this on a different screen. This is the most awkward victory I've had. Well, it's not a victory yet, so I don't want to break my weapon yet or my armor. What am I wearing? My boots are I, so if I say... I... Ready, bait my boots? Yes, okay. K is my gloves, so let's go break those. Well, my dump file break my... Oh, that's a ring? Okay. Well, that'll do, I guess. Isn't quite what I was expecting. O is a hat, maybe. Oh, there's a hat. Good. We're down to two perps. I might just have to break one more thing, I think. Um... D is a ring, maybe? No, I'm not wearing that one, am I? What's another thing I'm wearing? F is my gold dragon armor. I guess I could go break that one. Capital F, I think. Oh, didn't quite get my party down enough. Okay. What else am I wearing here? It's so hard, but I can't see the menu properly. Uh, G is my weapon. I can go blow that up. <laughs> there we go. I'm initiated. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I had to go through a visible weapon um, inventory screen. Yeah, the game's probably will hopefully get fixed. It's kind of in an unplayable state if you can't see your inventory. Let's get out of here. There we go. One. Oh, there's a menu up, but I can't see it. This is my inventory screen right now. If I hit enter. No, I have to hit escape. There we go. <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> Well, hopefully Trunk gets fixed. Uh, we might have to finish up here. I'd be going for about eight hours, which is about right. Oh, I should already go control the interface. <laughs> it's cursed. It's very cursed. Uh, except also with Ash and Zari, so you should be able to see invisible, right? But I guess it does, doesn't see cursed menus.